I'll be right with you guys. I just tried to load Starfield and it's erroring due to out of date mods. So I'm just updating them right now. I'll be right with you. may have success. Ah, God damn it. Why is it so big? <laughs> Pro streamer. Pro streamer. Make it smaller. Said no one ever. Actually, it was quite quick. Was that quite quick? Was. Okay. Yeah, update for Starfield came out. Um, this is the first time I've loaded the game since that update. So, of course, <laughs> yeah, I didn't test this beforehand. The mods all don't work. Yeah, there we go. Well, actually, it was mostly just the uh, the script extender, which plums DLLs straight into the game. So, yeah, that uh, wasn't very happy at all. Anyway, good morning, everybody. Oh, wait, my ship is... Uh, it can't stop. Make it stop. Make it stop. There we go. Woo! <laughs> Have a little, little photo mode. There you go. Have a little look around this thing. So at the end of the last stream, this is the ship that the Calypso has become. It is start off trying to make a Delta, uh, not Delta, uh, De De Defiant kind of vessel. Um, because I really like these engines, which are the Nova 2000s. And they look like right off the back of a Defiant, of the Defiant uh, bass ship from Star Trek. Then you've got some rounded modules. Like these uh, fuel tanks, the only problem with these fuel tanks is that nothing seems to line up with them properly. So they kind of stick out on their own a bit. I love that there's like scorching and stuff on the side of the... Get the freaking texture detail on this game. Seriously, I'm on. Honestly, I'm just constantly going. Ooh, at this game is ridiculous. I'm such a child. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's that's what the Calypso looks like now. Um, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. I had to make some compromises from what I wanted to do to what the game would let me do. Um, I don't know if you guys were there, watch it. You saw what happened, so. Anyway, welcome along, guys. Sorry, I was uh, a little bit delayed there uh, with the mods and stuff, but let's say some hellos. Hey, Bolifus. Killing them building. <laughs> hey, nice one, Merlin. Good afternoon, sir. Gaysburg as well. Jordan. Hey, Jordan. Solo spirit. Um, Akariateka. Hello. Rainy oh, days. Hi. Captain oh, Codlips. <laughs> I love that name. Infern. Dragon Stallion straight in with gifting memberships oh, like an absolute oh, beast. Dude, thank you very much. 
Uh, that's awesome, dude. Thank you. Um, oh, Ali hi. Kitty as well. Thank you for oh, the hi. sub. Oh, hi. We're going to get oh, hi's a lot at the moment. Sorry about that. Uh, but you can blame oh, Dagon Stallion for that oh, one. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, dude. That is super generous of you. Uh, I really oh, appreciate hi. that. Oh, hi. All right. I think we got... Why is it doing it twice? That's weird. Um, I've got something enabled that I shouldn't have enabled. Don't think so. Anyway. Um... Thank you, Dragon Stallion. Uh, Dragon Stallion, that's awesome. Uh, who else we got? Um, who do I get down to? Infern, don't worry about it, Spange. The game has been crashing more frequently since the new update, by the way. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. It looks good. Thank you, Jordan. Uh, pro streamer says Merlin. You know it, dude. Tiny Spange cam. Oh, hang on, let me... Zip. My face! Can you, can you, can you, there you go. Yeah, there we go. Fine, I don't know why it was so zoomed out, but there we go. Um, who else we got? Uh, Cheddar Cheese Head, love that name. Hello, Spanish, can't wait to see the HMS Gerald. How dare you? I would never call it the HMS Gerald. <laughs> but yeah, fair enough. Brian, hey, good morning, good afternoon to you, yeah, sir. Yeah. Very happy to see, oh my God, why am I getting two lots of notifications? Sounds. Why is it, why is it that things change? Like, <laughs> from one stream to the next. Honestly. Right, I'm going to mute the alerts. See if that maybe... Probably means I'm going to miss a bunch of alerts, but I'll try my best to keep an eye on things. But I can't be having me going, nailed it, nailed it! Whatever it was, twice. Uh, I'll fix that. A, uh, very happy to see the live staff feel back. Thanks, Spanj. Thank you, A. It's good to see you guys in the chat again. Thank you for joining. Darkest Soul, how you doing? Um, Dragon Stalin, of course, good morning. Grateful42, sorry to be off topic, but Das Tactic got hijacked by the crypto scam. Please report it as such. Okay. Crypto scam. I mean, any, anything crypto, NFT or whatever. My general reaction is, Ugh. whatever. <laughs> Can't be effed with that. And, uh, if somebody comes up and lot offering me cryptocurrency, I'll show them where the bloody door is. Uh, anyway, uh, Daniel, hello, buddy, how you doing? And Jambo Tech, hey, dude, I'm a secret big fan. Jambo Tech, you're my favorite. <laughs> Jab's very, hey, it's live. Live, not a relived. Jab, I don't think I've ever done a rerun. Uh, but thank you very much for joining us, uh, joining us, joining me today. Sorry, I'm in the like chaos crew mode, apparently. Joining me today for some more Starfield. Um, we have got a number of missions we have got this one which i am most excited about to do and we are going to heist well i don't know africa we're going to heist a uh, luxury liner we're going to heist the legacy gal bank ship that went down assuming we can find it and it's not just filled with bureaucratical paperwork but um you know if we do some thieving on a luxury liner as well then yeah you know so be it uh it's fine um, I, of course, have the main missions, which, you know, obviously give me superpowers and stuff like that, which I'm not too fussed about at the money moment, to be honest. I mean, the gravity power I have is okay, but, I mean, I've used it, like, twice, so <laughs> I don't really see it as necessary. And to be, uh, complete, to be completely honest, I'm far more enjoying the side quests of Starfield than the main story one, anyway. Anyway, the main uh, thing that we're here to see is how this beast the new calypso which has a top speed at the moment without any about half power it has the perfect top speed i don't know if you noticed that but it has 69 top speed <laughs> uh at half power on the engines there the perfect amount of top speed in my opinion and there we go let's get out of here uh let's get out of here yeah, there we go the grab jump's doing its thing right uh thank you butler um sorry grateful 42 i didn't mean to sound dismissive or anything that obviously sucks for uh for that guy that did get scammed by it uh fortunately i don't think i'm it uh, might be arrogant on my part but i don't think i'm at any risk of that one just because of my general opinions and attitudes around crypto and nfts and stuff uh but there we go anyway this is that's quite a big boat isn't it siren of the stars looks like a freaking cargo ship what class is it? It's B. Class B. 
but you're about to watch the spiffing Brits video where he breaks the game when the stream notification came in. Kira, I feel very honoured that you would uh, pass up the mighty spiff for me. I tell you, that is that is awesome, dude. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> very nice. Um, LA1, I'm well over 200 hours in the game now and barely scratched the main story. Keep getting distracted. So many side quests. The squirrel is real. The squirrel factor is real. You cannot... I cannot explain. I can only demonstrate how, how unbelievably compelling the squirreling is in this game. <laughs> Literally, you try and do anything. Try and do anything in this game. The squirrels will get you. It just... It just throws so much content at you. It's amazing. Well... well I am hidden, so I will take that meal pack. Thank you very much. And that drink. And those digi picks. And I will not take that half-eaten sandwich, though. Has anybody actually found uneaten sandwiches? Are there such a thing as uneaten sandwiches in this game? Or are they all... Apparently I'm detected. It must be the robot. But he ain't going to report anyone. He ain't going to report anything. He's a robot. Right, we are here to do thieving. We are here to find some Galbank bigwig executive douchebag and steal some codes or something from him. Uh, navigator space helmet, navigator space suit. I mean, actually, the space suit is worth apparently for almost uh, uh, 3,000 credits. It's very heavy, though, at 8.4 mass. That's ridiculous. Dirty corrosive protection is not bad, though. I'm still rocking the mantis suit moment. Yeah, that's got that's the same. Basically they're the same. Alright. I'm not gonna fill my inventory up with these things. I mean it's I could probably offload them back in the ship in fairness, but yeah. This game is so much like Fallout. Yeah. Can we choose to play more space battles than on ground? Yeah, you absolutely can. Yes, there are uneaten sandwiches. I found some whole sandwiches before. My god, they are like the myth. I swear, they are mythical. I've only well, seen half eaten ones. I don't know what's going on. I've been trying to get Delgado's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Clash Racks of the Chickens reporting you in Skyrim. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, I've gotten most of my money from selling weapons. Stealing ships isn't worth it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, unless you have the registration mod, the, the registration fee mod. I've got a mod that lowers the registration fee to a reasonable amount of what actually a piece of paperwork would or should cost. And you can make a lot of money from ships now. But yeah, I, I hate the fact that they put the registration fee so high that it makes um, ship salvaging let's say um pretty much completely waste of time i wouldn't mind if so if they basically half the registration fee from what it is at the moment then it would i think just about make it worthwhile so you could actually do that as a thing uh right you should be happy delgado is including you at all i can see how that would be unsettling why follow delgado's orders if you're not in the crimson fleet yeah because fair question the only way to achieve a win is by agreeing to play the game in the first place worst case scenario i don't make the fleet but i end up a couple thousand credits richer. That's almost a a win-win, don't you think? I think his worst case scenario needs some adjusting. Worst case scenario, I put a freaking bullet through your face. Um, right. Anyway, no formal tour of the ship. Oh sure, sure. First a tour, followed by a formal dinner at the captain's table. Sounds lovely. Let's get one thing straight. You're here for business, not for a vacation. So let's start. <sighs> by talking about Delgado's sudden olive branch. My god. The service around his sucks. All right. I'm just here following his yeah, orders. I figured you'd say something like that. Just another one of Delgado's loyal little soldiers, huh? That's what I like him to think. Have it your way. So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? Never asked me to steal the Earth Savior Award. Hmm. <laughs> Why didn't you ask Navy yourself? Ah, uh, 
Don't play games with me. I will play games with whoever I want. No, pinging a message back and forth to the key is going to take longer than we have to do this job. We're supposed to be working together on every part of this. So, you're going to tell me what else you're here for or not? Mm. I don't want to rope him in because if he gets... If, he, if we rope him in, then we have to split it, right? And at the moment, I'm already splitting it with Knave. So I'm going to say nope. Hmm. Okay. So why are you targeting a Gall Bank exec anyway? Not exactly your average Crimson Fleet prey. Why the interest? Wonder all you want. That's all the information you're getting. Dagato wants the Dubrovsky's Gal, Gal Bank credentials. I don't trust you enough to share sensitive information yet. What do you consider normal prey? Mm, I don't trust you. Playing it safe for now. Okay. I can respect that. Good. But let's make one thing clear. If I'm going to stick my neck out by helping you get near Dubrovsky, I want something in return. Uh, how about your life? You obviously have something specific in mind. Well, well, it appears we have a mind reader here. You're absolutely mm -hmm. right. Volk, you're also awesome beast. <laughs> Thank you. Back into the Crimson Fleet. Hey, Owen. It's as simple as that. Sure. Yeah, you're in no position to make demands right now. Just do as you're told. Help me to get to Promsky and you're back in the fleet. I can put in a word with Delgado, but it's up to him to pull the trigger. You really think I have the ability to promise something like that? Uh, I'll put a word in. I'll put a word in. That's a disturbing way to put it. But I suppose that's the best offer I'm going to get, so I'll take it. Deal. I'm going to kill him anyway. He's a full time <laughs> aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the space lanes than actually working. Sounds cushy. Fortunately, the Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society Aaron. charity gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need, you're going to have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. Good job I packed my suit. I didn't bring my dinner jacket. Actually, I did. So you barely lift a finger while I do all the work. I'm going to skip all that and talk to Dubrov's, uh, Dumbrowski. Uh... <laughs> Let's insult him a little bit. Take it easy. I'm just getting you started here. I'm sure you'll come running back to me for help again. This card will allow you to Dumb exit Brewski. the Starview Vault. <laughs> it's true, the chap. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper level lounges. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski, so they'll be more than happy to share his dirty secrets. Hey, if there's any aurora around, then it'll be a party. <laughs> That's my neon street rat knowledge thingy. What sort of dirty secrets are you talking about? As long as there's free booze, I don't mingle well. Uh, let's go for this unique chat option. All right, Speedy, take it easy. You're not going to find that kind of junk aboard a Trident Starliner. Oh, there's one last thing. Trident equips all of their Starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship, security will be alerted and all hell will break loose. Anyway. Okay, I so knives only. Silence pistols only. Good luck. Um, do you know anything about the Earth Savior Award? What the hell? When I asked you earlier, you said you weren't here for anything else. Not only did you lie to me, but now you're telling me that she sent Shit. you after the award alone? I'm not here for anything but those credentials. Yeah. And I suppose it's just a, a coincidence you happen to be asking me about the very thing Nava and I agreed to steal together. Uh, I can't believe she's trying to cut me out of this deal. Nah. Without me, the award never would have ended up here in the first place. What was the original plan you and Nava? You don't want to be on Nava's bad side. Don't worry, you're still going to get paid. Without her, you're also never getting back into the fleet. Let's ask what the original plan was. I spent months manipulating the Turan Preservation Baron. Society to hosting their gather affair aboard the Siren of the Stars. I had to arrange the event to make sure that the award was aboard the ship. 
Neva said she'd do the rest. When I got a message about Dubrovsky, I assumed she'd be tagging along to steal the award. But looks like, uh, she sent you in her place. Uh, let's just, let's just appease him for now. Yeah? Funny you're only bringing that up now. Funny. Mm. Fine, I'll help. But you're doing all the legwork, and I'm still taking my cut of the payout. I'll just appease him. So tell me, what's the status of your plan? From this point forward, no Russian. <laughs> hey, Barry, not a, not a lot, dude. You're in time, don't worry. We're just on board the Siren of the Stars. We're talking to this brook. Do you think Nave will have any problem selling the award? I'm just getting started. Okay, then let me point you to the person in charge of the award. Her name's Sheila Holbrook, and you can probably find her in the Starview Ballroom. I'd press her to reveal where the award's hidden, and we can go from there. And if you're thinking of pulling the trigger on poor Miss Holbrook, remember that any gunfire is going to set off the ship's alarms. Any gunfire. So, knives only, yeah? Okay. What's the deal with the Terran Preservation Society? Why can't I just kill and take his credentials off his body? You seriously need to ask. Okay, I'll give you two reasons. First, Gold Bank protects their own. Kill Dombrowski, and they send Ecliptic after every Crimson Fleet ship they can find. Not something they'll die wants, I suspect. And second, you offer Gal Bank employee in every single Gal Bank facility in the settled systems will triple their security. I'm gonna guess that won't help with whatever your plans are regarding uh, Gal Bank, now will it? I need to have the pickpocket skill then. That's what I'm oh, getting. While you're at the gala, avoid the canapes. They're frozen, not fresh. Frozen canapes. Alright. I got no skill points. Uh shit. Where is it? There's, uh, there it is. Theft. While not entirely honourable and certainly not legal, it is nonetheless occasionally necessary to discreetly remove properties from someone's person. Unlock the ability to pickpocket targets. Um, is there a way to see how close I am to levelling up here? Oh, there we go. Oh my god, I'm only just over halfway to level 22. Damn it. I might need to leave this and come back. I don't know if that's possible now that I've started it. But without the pickpocket skill, how am I going to get these credentials? Unless Bethesda left a way in for me to do this without that skill, which is possible. I might need to fight security off or something to do it. One way to find out, isn't there? Alright, so let's have a little look, see what I'm wearing here. Um, I've got the green fashionable suit on. The helmet. And the suit should be hidden, but it's not. Okay. The helmet is, but the suit isn't. That's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Why? You... Hide. So it's set to hide. I'll take that off a second. Nope. Is it around the wrong way? No, it's not. It just doesn't hide. That's interesting. That's so weird. I'm going to have to unequip it. There we go. Right. Now I'm dressed for a ball. <laughs> Hi. This I... is one of Trident's top of the line vessels. Head of a ship, isn't it? Been a crazy 24 hours and I'm exhausted. Trident short staffed. The flight, so that left three of us who had to stay up all night to set up the Starview Ballroom. The place looks amazing, but I doubt the Snoopy TPS passengers will even notice. Anyone that has enough money to ride on the siren certainly isn't going to care about the efforts we put in to keep them all comfortable. It really ticks me off how those rich folk just expect all of it to happen. Maybe it's time I took Evertino up on his offer to transfer to Trident's cargo division. Honest work and no one thumbing their nose up at me. Sounds tempting. You're a guest of Captain Rokov, right? That's right, mate, yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah pleasure to be here and all that, innit? Yeah, it's great to meet a fellow Londoner and all that. Uh, no, I'm not invisible. I'm not invisible. I'm not invisible. I'm not stealing nothing. I'm not stealing nothing, innit? 
It's a big old boat. It's a big old boat. I'll give him that. It's not very luxurious, but we mean down in the uh, the crew decks right now, so. Can't near the engines, can you? You're not going to shut up, Wesley. Tuned engines anywhere else in the <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just picked up level ninety-seven. It's a save a lot and try it. Ships don't count as settlements. Uh, okay. Shame you couldn't frame that Russian guy, right? Yeah, I'm going to build a ship that resembles an A-10 Warthog from World War II. I was thinking actually my next build ship, I might try a Bird of Prey. I'm sticking with Star Trek for some reason. Um, yeah, I might try a Klingon Bird of Prey sort of style thing next. I think that might work with, with the blocks that we've got here, the, the modules available. Of course, you can never get the ships to look exactly like uh, what you're trying to get them to, but uh, in general area. Oh. Forget to keep your star view pass handy at all times, or you won't have access to the ballroom. Oh, this does look nice, doesn't it? It looks lovely down here. They they did do a good job, I have to say. The uh, the staff have done an excellent job looking at it. Look at this. It's fantastic. Quite a lovely starlight. <laughs> this is me walking. The uh, the simple walking mod doesn't quite work. Okay. I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society events aboard a Starliner. Okay, let's see if we can find... These are all that patrons. Gabriel Vera. Yeah, uh, can we do this later? I'm busy. You don't look busy. You look about as busy as me right now. Patron, patron, I'm patron. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Do you have any information regarding the Earth reward? What can you tell me about the Terran Preservation Society? You don't necessarily have to be wealthy to contribute, though the minimum donation level is 5,000 credits. 5,000 credits? My God! All right, what about the award? It's for the Society's high rollers. If you don't have more than eight figures in your account, I wouldn't even bother going after the award. Do you know anything about Larry? The considerable amounts of cash that Dombrowski donates is the only reason we allow him to attend society functions. <laughs> and so he's a he's a D word then, is he? Tried the canopies, horrid, positively horrid. No, they're frozen. The society chair has really outdone herself this time. Right. Do we see if we can find Larry? Where do you think Larry would be? He'd be over here or something in the V. Although this place looks like it's being cleaned. For the safety of everyone aboard, please be certain you don't interfere with any of the crew or security members of our vessel. All right, mate. Yeah, no worries. So, what brings you aboard? VIP guest. He'll be up here then, won't he? Remain in designated passenger areas at all times. Have a safe journey. Hello. Hello. Are, you, Are a you a member of the society? society? You, someone will look at all the credit chips around here. That view is absolutely spectacular, isn't it? It's all right. Oh. Larry! I'm sorry. I don't believe we've met. Do I know you? I've got a grenade launcher jab. I have a grenade launcher called the Ashta Tamer. Nope, you're not exactly the type of human being I can stand being near. You don't know, baby, but you will. My word. Is that supposed to be a veiled threat of some kind? I'm certain we've never been acquainted before, so I'll do you the courtesy of forewarning you about the impertinence that's to follow. When you approach me, I'd highly advise you to choose your words carefully. Otherwise, it's likely they will be your last. Is this clown threatening me? Done here. Good day. Wow. Yeah, he gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna die. <laughs> I don't really care about the ramifications. He gonna die. And if I can make it look like an accident, that's what's gonna happen. Any complaints about your cruise should be directed to one of the staff. I have no complaints about anyone right now. Please to make your acquaintance. Do you know Larry? Yes, he's some kind of a top dog over at Galbank. I heard he replaced someone that was caught running a fake loan scam. Do you have any information about the reward? Even if I was offered the award, I wouldn't take it. Can you imagine the security nightmare I'd have to deal with? No, thank you. 
Can you tell me about Terran Preservation? Not much, other than the fact that they host these wonderfully entertaining gala events every month. Every month? F that. All then? F that. Okay. Every f***ing month. you got to be kidding me. Can I get a coffee or something? No, literally, if I take any of this, I'm stealing. Wow. I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society events aboard a Starliner. That tray is having an absolute seizure. <laughs> okay, so speak to Sarah, uh, speak to Sheila about the years of world. Kill Larry, obviously. Ask society patrons about Larry. That's not complete yet. Okay, I'll ask one more about Larry then. In the event of a lockdown, you. The society the chair has really outdone fashion. herself this time. Is it Chris O'Dowd? Let's put it this way. He screwed over so many people. If he suddenly disappeared from the universe, I don't think anyone would miss him. Hello, IT. Have we tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> Owen, is this one of your people? <laughs> Do you know anything about Larry? Besides what I already told you? No. Okay. Uh, let's try the other one. Well, apparently the award is so valuable, there's only one in existence. It gets passed to a new winner every year. When you join, they send you a small chunk of rock from the Earth itself. I keep mine on my desk. What happened to you for a second there? You just kind of glitched out like a robot. Well, that was boring. You're boring. An open bar would have been nice. Trident's gouging us for every credit we've got. Hi. So, what brings you aboard? Nothing but the best for the society. Apparently the Leather Jacket Society. I kind of like it. Hello. Are you a member of the society? Hi. Here for business or pleasure? Nobody seems to be wanting to talk to me right now. Here for hello. Are you a member of the society? Larry. Dombrowski is married to some poor woman that he constantly leaves behind in New Atlantis when he goes on his business trips. Oh, okay. Thank you. Nice to have met you. And you? Have I still got to do that? Ask patrons about Dombrowski. I have! Still not checking out. Right, okay, let's find this Sheila lady. Sheila. I had it where a ship bugged out and killed Larry in my playthrough. It literally glitched through the ground and Bethesda physicked him. That's awesome. Are you Sheila? No, you're just a patron. Can I talk to you? An open bar. What do you know about Larry? His behavior toward women is abominable. That man really ought to be ashamed of himself. Now this girl I can get on board with. What about the award? Sheila Holbrook is chair of the award committee this year. The way she dotes over that glorified trophy, you'd think it was her own child. Mm. Someone's a little bitter. The society is such a worthy cause. What I got it, Hacker. more important than the preservation of the Earth's spirit? Yeah, 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 yeah. where's the button to do it? Done. Dun 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 dun. There we go. Bot dealt with. Thank you very much. Sorry. Um. Did I? Yeah. I did everything, didn't I? Terran one. It's critical that the society <clears throat> keeps the memories of Earth alive in our hearts. I yeah. did my part by attending this spectacular event. Well, the restream Don't bot is, um, yeah, it, it, it can't differentiate between normal messages and that. Employees only. Okay. Let's see if we can get upstairs. It looks like there's a whole new level up there. Um, hey, Sam, thank you very much for the 20. Um, sorry. The uh, South African, is there the South African Rand, I believe. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. How do we get upstairs? Is there an up? Uh, is there an elevator? That's that's the toilet. Ah, here's the stairs. Quite a lovely starliner. Right, that's Sheila there then. Is this important? I don't have a lot of time for idle nonsense. Hey. Yes, I'm extremely busy preparing for the award ceremony. I'm so not nonsense. Important. I heard in charge of the award. When were the... Uh, let's not go straight into that. Because, I mean, that's just, like, super sus, isn't it? 
When will the award ceremony occur? In a few days. I don't want the award transfer to actually occur until we're safely in orbit at our destination. Makes sense. Of course, if I keep getting interrupted, the ceremony might never take place at all. All right, all right. Hot pants. Isn't it too risky to hold the award ceremony aboard a Starliner? Not at all. I was assured that this particular ship was outfitted with the absolute latest and cutting edge security. Ooh. I am completely confident that Trident luxury lines will keep all of us safe. Mm, is that my only options? Come on. I heard you're in charge. Yes, I am. Actually, I've been entrusted with the transfer of the award for the last seven of its nine years. Why do you ask? You must be nervous keeping something so valuable in your cabin. I'm hoping to find out who's this year's winner is going to be. I'd love to get a look at such a fabulous award. What do you mean the transfer? Has the award ever been stolen? All right. Uh, let's see if we can pass off as a gossipy person. Forget it. I refuse to have a repeat of last year's fiasco, where the name leaked early and started a common brawl. <laughs> the awesome. Is safe that sounds great. Away with the award itself, inside the master safe located at the purser's office. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, if you'll excuse me, I have much more important things on my agenda than to speak to the likes of you. Hey, rude! Everyone is so rude. <clears throat> yeah, you look busy. Hey. I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society events aboard a Starliner. Okay, shut up. He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time, if you Right, can right, right. I'm certain his wife doesn't know a thing about it. That's the one I was after. Hmm. Well, that was boring. Hey, would everybody stop calling me boring, please? <laughs> Speak to Claudia Swist. Kill Larry is optional. Discover how to access the purser's safe is optional. Interesting. Shouldn't be optional. That should be part of the heist. Guest suites are through here. Any specific requests? Please speak to one of the cruise attendants. Mm-hmm. This is Ah, right. Thanks, hacker. This is very quiet. Oh, and this lady here looks thoroughly bored. Ha <laughs> ha! Who do we have here? Right, Claudia. Now I feel like I'm going to have to probably do some persuading for Claudia here. So, have I got any of that nice stuff that makes me like super charming? What was it called again? This is essentially or something or other. Hmm. I might need that later. Recon reconnaissance. Um, suppress addictive symptoms. What was it bloody called again? I don't think I've got any. Melee damage. Wait, there it is. Hippolyta. I got 11 of them. Take one of those. Chloroform. <laughs> Sorry, do I know you? Hi, Claudia. You don't know me, but I need some information. There's no harm in a friendly little chit-chat between two people. Yeah, you're in a hell of a lot of trouble. Ooh, should I lay it on thick? Hmm. Chit-chat go in nice and easy, or scare the girlfriend into betraying her apparent boyfriend? You're in a hell of a lot of trouble. I'm going to do it. Let's go. Uh, can I F5 this? Hang on. Shit. I can't. Let's hope it saved okay, when I went through the door. That's a hell of a way to open a conversation. Why don't you cut the crap before I tell my partner that you're harassing me? Believe me, you don't want to piss him off. Would your partner happen to be Larry? I bet the Albag would love to know about your affair. Maybe I should tell Larry. Wife instead? I know all about your affair. <clears throat> yeah, let's go where your partner would be Larry. Who? Look, can you just cut to the chase Who? already? What's this about? Uh, I'll bet Gow, but yeah, let's go with this. I can't believe this is happening. I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No. He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've 
been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works, so let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it gonna take to make us both happy? We've both been in the business long enough to know how this game works. All I need is something incriminating on Dombrowski. Pay two thousand. I give you cash. You give me Dombrowski's on a platter. Uh, I need to think about this. Are you willing to part with your gal bank credentials? Let's let's go with industrialists because this is my like, yeah. Your ex corp. Then there's no fooling you, is there? Uh -huh. I don't have the cash to buy your silence, but I can give you information that might help you bury Dombrowski. Yes, you know? I knew it. This whole thing really pisses me off. Yeah, me too. Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out. And then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. Okay. Tell me about this scheme. You're angrier than I expected. How many credits do we talk about? If you hate the guy so much, why were you defending him a moment ago? Uh, uh, right. I don't want to know about her scheme, to be honest. I just want to get the credentials. That's what I need. Right, you're angrier than I expected. Oh, angry isn't even the right word. The plan was solid. Mm hmm Larry got together with myself and this other guy, Gabriel Vera. Vera. He's some big wig over at UC Security. He was back at the party. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal He's pressure very off. forthcoming right now. We were scamming Galbank for months. Galbank ain't gonna miss him then. Until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. Right. I aren't you worried I'll blow the whistle on this whole thing. Why didn't you confront him? I think he was uh, using you. Right. If you want revenge, let's get revenge. Give me proof I can use against him. I wish I had some. Damn it! Maybe you should try talking to Gabriel Vera. He should be around here somewhere. I know, I tried to talk to him. If he doesn't want to cooperate, just mention my name. That should grab his attention. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Okay, what was Dombrowski and Vera's contributions to the Galbank scheme? What, are you ready to damn novel? <sighs> Fine. Vera works for UC Security, so he kept a lookout on their comnet for any Galbank chatter. I guess you could call him our early warning system. And Dombrowski made sure that all of the crypto manipulation I was working on didn't turn up in Galbank's automatic audits. Mm -hmm. You need top clearance for that kind of access, so we had to cut him in, whether we liked it or not. Gotcha. Okay, thank you. I hope you hurt Dombrowski. Nail his ass right to the wall. Um, yes. We will be doing some nailing, don't worry. With a freaking knife. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, let's F5 this. Quick save it. Let's get back and talk to that Vera guy. He didn't want to talk to me earlier, but now... We shall speak. <laughs> She's giving off Major Karen vibes. <laughs> Blast. <laughs> Shut up, you. All right. Down we go. Vera was... Being very busy over here, wasn't he? Yes, I remember. Right. Hello. You here for the charity event? I'm more interested about what's going on at Galbrank. Actually, I'm here on business. I'd rather talk about Larry. Do you often attend honest and worthy? Let's talk about Larry. Dombrowski. Uh, he's the exec holding court over in the VIP area of the ballroom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sorry. I work for UC Security, not Galbank. I don't really know him personally. Sure. Claudia Swiss says he have information. Right. This will get his attention. Claudia sent you, did she? Look, friend, I don't know if you're just a little drunk, maybe a touch crazy, or both. Whatever you think you both. know about me, you're dead wrong. So back off. Uh, 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 uh. Maybe I'll hand over any evidence I already have to the authorities. You don't sound very worried about Claudia's calling you out. Find my mistake or back off or what? Right, uh, let's go with this one. Worried? Why should I be worried? Anything you try to report will boil down to your word against mine. Mm -hmm. And since I work for UC Security, who do you think people will believe? Mm. That didn't go quite as planned. Damn it. This is return to Rockov. Discover how to access the purser's safe. Um, 
Yeah, the direct approach there didn't really work, did it? I don't know if there's another way to get so through that. So Rock Armour, I guess, is that guy right there, isn't he? The apparent captain of the ship. But let's see if we can get into the safe. We got, these key, we got two objectives to complete here. We got uh, the heist of the award and getting the Galbank credentials. I feel like this is maybe down a deck. I'm above it right now, aren't I? Damn it. This ship is massive. It's a freaking maze as well. This way, here we go. On behalf of Trident Luxury Lines, I'd like to welcome you aboard. Oh, thank you very much. Welcome to the purser's office. I'm Chief Purser Murata. How can I be of assistance today? Um, I can hear a baby. <laughs> yeah. She's, um, she's just had some lunch, and my wife is currently cleaning her off, and she always hates having her face cleaned and hands cleaned and stuff like that, so she's always kicking off a bit of a racket. <laughs> Sorry about that. She should be done now. I'd like to take a peek at the Earth Save reward. No, I'm fine. Thank. Can I store things with confidence in your safe? Let's do this. Oh, absolutely. Ah. The safe is magnetically sealed magnetically and shielded, shielded with multiple layers of fully damage resistant vacuum proof plating. Right. In the unlikely event, our vessel is boarded and the threat detection alarm is triggered. The safe will be permanently sealed until it reaches port. In the even more unlikely event, this ship is destroyed. We can assure you that your loved ones will be able to recover your goods <laughs> from the wreckage. But the goods are more protected than the people, great. Imagine, your property will be completely secure until you decide to retrieve them from our safe. Right. Mm. What exactly does the chief pursuer do on a Starline? An excellent question. My responsibilities include all of the Siren's financial, customs, and commercial goods transfers. Honestly, I really enjoy the work. I get to meet people at every port of call instead of being constantly stuck below decks. Uh, damn it. The only option then is like, can I take a peek? Right. I've only seen it briefly myself, but I can assure you that it's quite lovely. Unfortunately, the item is locked inside of our safe, which can only be accessed by presenting an appropriate claim ID. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? Okay, acquire the ES Award claim ID. Well, if you change your mind, I'll be here. Have a wonderful trip. Thank you. Don't forget to tell your friends how much you enjoy the cruise. Mm hmm Right. So that's the key. I need this claim ID... Um, which probably means getting in, either it's in her pocket. And I don't have pickpocket skills. Or it's in her, in her, in her cabin. Uh, which I have no idea where that is. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> um, I then need to talk to her again and see if I can get her cabin number out of her somehow, maybe. So... Optional, acquire the ES award claim, return to um, or, and kill. So we don't need to worry about that one too much. This one, I'm not sure if these two kind of... If I do this one, does it remove this one? Do you know what I mean? So I, let's talk to her again. Let's see if we can maybe... You don't need pickpocket for this mission. Thank you, Anarchist. Must you continue these unwelcome interruptions? I'm a very busy woman. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Wow. Let's just go with the freaking brick approach, shall we? I need your claim ID for the Earth Savior Award. <laughs> what? That's ridiculous. Oh my gosh.
Uh, well, this will be this will be fun. Excuse me. And why in goodness name would I do something as foolish as that? <laughs> Just send it over so I can be on my way. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, I forget he said it. I should say so. The nerve of you to even ask something so stupid. Give me your ID. <laughs> it's so stupid. There's got to be another way. All right, let's talk to Rook. Let's see what this opens up here. I saw your little exchange with Vera. Keep that up, and I guarantee that Embassar's gonna demand that you be arrested. Mm hmm. Um. Right, he's involved in the embezzlement scheme. Which is why he's threatening you. That makes sense. We need hard evidence of their scheme. It's gonna be tricky. The problem is he's not gonna talk to you in public. We need to get Vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows. That stuff I drank ain't gonna cut it there, Dragon. <laughs> that was ridiculous. The, the persuade marker would probably be like 20 long. Nah, 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 nah. I think they just put that in the game just... Uh, so you could maybe see, like, what you're up against, you know? A shipwide emergency might do the trick. Should we wait until he returns to his cabin and falls asleep? Why shouldn't I just kill Vera and be done with it? Um, right. Let's try that one. Maybe. But if something goes wrong and he's able to raise an alarm, we're sunk. Mm. With all of these wealthy patrons aboard, the ship is crawling with security. A shipwide emergency might do the trick. Smart. If there's an emergency, standard practice is for all passengers to clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown. I think the best chance we have would be to tamper with the life support sensors. Manipulate a few controls and you can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency. I guess to do whatever it takes to get it done. You're crazy. I'm not qualified to be tampering with the ship's life support. Or will the ship be at risk without life support? Nah, whatever. I guess I'll do whatever it takes. I got a spacesuit on. I don't care. I'll do whatever don't it takes. Worry. It'll be as easy as it was mingling with the guests at the party. Just throw a few lousy switches and you're done. One more thing. If Chief Engineer Sundin gives you any trouble, tell him I'll erase that gambling debt he owes me. I prefer you use that as a last resort, but hey, what's the harm in losing a few credits when I'm on the brink of rejoining the fleet, right? Anyway, I better start that's, what, uh, that's what I want you to think. Hot around here, and won't be long before Trident figures out you had help. <laughs> and New Republic time. credits are fine. <laughs> Republic credits are fine. All right. Um, where exactly is the low support system located? Once an emergency is sounded, how does the ship lockdown work? All passengers are instructed to immediately report to their cabins. That way, we keep the halls clear and avoid a panic. Fortunately for us, all of the passenger cabin doors will automatically unlock. This is normally to ensure the crew can check cabins quickly and without interference. But in our case, it's like having an all-access pass. Excellent. That's where I get that claim ID, right. And um, where's the life support looking? There's Kitted? access to the crew section that you can reach through the uh, Starview ballroom. Chief Sundin should be there, wasting time at his station as usual. Have fun with that guy. He's a, a real piece of work. Once you're past Sundin, just look for the room marked environmental control. Everything you need is inside. Okay. Um... Do you have the lowdown on Gabriel? On the surface, he's an upstanding citizen of the United Colonies, pretty high up in UC security. Lots of clout with mast. Underneath is a greedy piece of garbage. Given the chance he'd backstab you for a cred stick and bid the murder on someone else. Right. Come to think of it, if he wasn't such a petty tyrant, he'd probably thrive with the Crimson Fleet. Hmm. Okay. Don't you have somewhere to be? Yeah, in Tritarian, the mind of the tricks and order working on me. <laughs> um, if you have any specific requests, please speak to one of the crew's attendants. Okay, is it down there? Sorry, hang on. The society chair has really outdone. So we don't really need Vera, other than we need maybe to go through him in order to get the Galbank credentials. 
I feel like this is maybe splintering off a little bit, you know? With the whole Vera scheme thing in there as well. Now, I don't necessarily... I'm not necessarily greedy enough to try and go for the triple. But... It may be a possibility. Get the award, get the Galvan credentials, and get some kind of payoff from the scheme that they're running. Uh, you know. Didn't you remove your spacesuit to show you off your outfit? May you want to re-equip before tampering with life support? May want to. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm not going to tamper it too much. Okay. Sand in. Uh, hey, uh, uh, hold up. This area is off limits to passengers. Wait a second. You're Captain Rokov's guest, right? Didn't expect to see you down here. Sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? I really need to get into the life support area. Kind of lonely down here, isn't it? Yeah, a little. A few of the techs call this deck the dungeon. <laughs> I think you can see why. Not exactly Starliner class comfort down here. Don't get me wrong. The quiet gives me time to gather my thoughts, catch up on work, and all that. But I'd rather work on the bridge. Um, I really need to get into the low area. I oh, thought that uh, might. Sorry, that area is off limits. No exceptions. Mhm. Mm Maybe this will change your mind. Captain Rockless says he's willing to forgive your gambling debt. I'm the captain's guest, but you can't let me into that room. Let's try it. He did ask me to use the gambling there as a last resort. No, sorry. I'm afraid it's impossible. Trident regulations strictly prohibit anyone from entering the life support area without the valid reason. It's Norwegian, I think. Jerk here. It's just that I could lose my job, you know. My job. Okay. Gambling debt, then. Oh, really? Well, that changes things quite a bit. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, what do you think of Rogov? Honestly? He's a seasoned ship captain. He told me he was a long hauler for years, and the experience shows. Only thing is, he's always talking about trade deals and plans for get-rich-quick schemes. It's all the guy ever thinks about. Why he decided to be a Starliner captain, I'll never know. It's almost like he craves being around money. Tell you what, though, for someone that loves credit so much, he sure doesn't mind gambling them then. Maybe you're an Icelandic. Course. Uh, okay, thank you. Remember, bye bye. Touch anything, please. You can go now. Enjoy your walk. Or slight jog. You know, either's fine. Alright. Life support access. Open life support access. Uh, cannot be sealed without approval from Chief Engineer Duty. See, try to da 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 da. Yep. Okay. Emergency procedure. Chief engineer, lockdown procedure. If any life support unit fails, automate emergency lockdown procedure replace immediately and effective passengers will be ordered to calmly proceed to their cabins until such time as the captain of the ship deems the emergency to be resolved. If the captain has been incapacitated, please recognize the proper chain of command as per Trident operations. In addition, all interior door, lock mechanisms, passenger cabins, and all mustering areas will be set to unlock to allow for uninhibited crew access. Emergency lighting and audio announcement will remain in effect for the duration of the event. Okay. Hmm, reset switch. Yeah, well, this can't be important, right? All passengers, may I have your attention, please? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Remain there until you receive further instructions. Yes, the accent minigame. <laughs> hey, Cortex. Okay. Oh, they've all gone so fast. Orderly. That wasn't orderly. That was instantaneous. Alright. There's no, no following them to their cabins. I'm hoping the markers are going to lead me to the cabin here. Crap, I don't know which one's which. Huh. Cabins are probably upstairs. The ship is in a state of emergency. Please return to your cabin immediately. 
What do you think I'm doing? There's no cause for alarm. I'm sure this is just a minor malfunction or drill. Yeah, 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 yeah. What have we got here? Passenger, Holbrook, Sheila. This is Sheila's cabin. <gasps> right. Whoop. Sneaky, sneaky. Where's that recon stuff that I had? Reconism. Sheila plants. Right, I'm looking for Sheila's key. Um, well, maybe I need to talk to her because it's literally saying talk to her. Humiliating defeat. Chief Sanders ID. <laughs> Humiliating defeat. Why? She doesn't know I'm here. Look at all the stuff she's got on her um, mannequins and stuff here, though. Mannequin. Brown engineering outfit. Plus five help and O2. Black engineering outfit. So it's all the same stuff. Flashy leatherware. I like flashy leatherware. I'm taking it. Ah. That mannequin's now em naked. Okay. Still hidden. Honestly, I don't know whether I need to be doing this. Red alert. The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there. The black engineering suit again. She likes her engineering suits, apparently. There's a safe here. Here we go. Expert level. All right, this is going to be a tricky one, but I think we can do it. All right, that one works. And we'll need a one, unless a three works. The only one with three don't work so it's going to be a two and a one all right this one's a three as well but i don't think that's going to work it's going to be a two and a one again and wow we got a one left oh this is for an expert lock that was incredibly easy yeah <laughs> thousand credits chocolate labs stand report not the stuff that I'm after. I'm guessing it's on her and we're going to have to talk to her. She likes her chunks. Apparently so. Okay. Um, fine. We'll do the talking thing then. It's funny how video games have way more diversity of accents than, than movies or TV shows, yeah. Shoot her. Hi. Boo! <laughs> Excuse me. Would you mind telling me exactly what the hell you're doing in my cabin? I need your claim ID for the Earth Savior Award. Isn't it risky to hold the award ceremony at Water Stand? When were the awards? Ceremony? Okay, let's let's do this again. Am I hearing you correctly? <laughs> you should mind your manners. Imagine pushing your way into my cabin uninvited and issuing such demands. This emergency is real, and the award is in danger. I'll risk everything to keep it safe. Apparently is the hero worshipped, or persuade. Let's try the hero worship thing. This has never come up before. Of course, because I have the fan. <laughs> uh, let's try it. It's a real emergency? Oh, my word. I thought this was a drill or some sort of nonsense. I thought I recognized you. Here. Take my claim ID and take the award oh, as far from this ailing vessel as you can. I know you'll keep it safe. Woohoo! <laughs> That's insane! That is utterly insane. I love it. I absolutely love it. Yeah, well, make me. Have a grenade launcher that says otherwise. Siren of the Stars is now in emergency status. Please remain calm. Did it, did it, open the door. Let's save your award. Bingo. Got it. <laughs> right, let's go confront Vera. Um, let's see if we can get the final. That is. Is that supposed to be like that? That looks freaking damaged or some shit. I don't know. Vera. Hi. Get up. I was wondering if you were the cause of the shipwide emergency. 
It's time you stop playing games and tell me why you're here. I didn't get the micro gun yet, no. Are you streaming tonight as well? Yes, Ghost Dragon. With the Chaos Crew, we're doing some more Sunken Lands there. Crimson Fleet. Dabronski has something on the Crimson Fleet once. Sis Death. I'm undercover with the UC Sis Death. I need everything you've got on Dabronski. I want everything you have. Oh. How did you know I was responsible for the emergency? Uh... Help me take down Dabrowski. Um, I want everything you have on Dabrowski. He's Sis Def. Right. So if I if I play the Sis Def card, uh, I'm going to do it. You're working for Ikande's little anti pirating oh, outfit? So what? I have, I have nothing to do with the Crimson Fleet. The and even if I suddenly decided to stay loyal to the old UC, how would I possibly want to incriminate myself by handing over evidence? You need to worry about anything ever again. <laughs> Dabrowski's been playing you and Claudia this entire time. I don't know where you got that information from, but it lines up with all the troubles I've been having getting my cut from that asshole. That means my money's already gone, and Dabrowski's going to walk away with a fortune. I'd love to see the bastard fry, but if I give you that information and it falls into the wrong hands, I could end up in jail. I'll pay you to offset your losses. No, I don't want to do that. Before I make any deals, you mind telling me what I'm buying? Why did you let Dabrowski handle all the numbers in the first place? Oh, I've got everything you're going to need. This is a one-stop shop for you. Mm -hmm. We're talking a slate loaded with dates, account numbers, ID scans, even an audio recording. It was my little insurance policy in case the shit hit the fan. There's a solid enough trail here to send Dombrowski straight to jail. Okay. I'm going to have to pay the credits, aren't I? 2500 is not too bad. At least I walk away with something. All right. You have yourself a deal. Here, with this slate and this recording to tie it all together, you'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. Hey, Chucky. He'll do whatever you want. Just remember that you promised to leave me out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know anything about UC Sister? What are you going to do about Squist and Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further. Let's see if we can recruit him. Wait a moment. Are you telling me that this scheme is getting so out of hand it also involves a crimson fleet? <laughs> That's all I need right now. Enemies on two fronts. Just because I'm helping you nail Dombrowski doesn't mean I'm turning my back on UC security. How else am I going to ensure that he ends up behind bars when all this comes crashing down? No, you can leave me out of your merry little band of pirates. Thank you very much. Uh, what are you going to do about Swist? Well, since Claudia has been spending time disgustingly close to Dombrowski, I think she's suffered enough. I'd on agree with that. And <laughs> I've got very, very special plans for Larry. I have some friends that can... Well, let's just say... Take care, take of, the care of the problem. problem. <laughs> if you leave him alive, of course. We'll just have to wait and see. Well, okay. Thank you. You better tell Dombrowski to run. Because if you don't kill him, I will. Oh, I don't want to kill him. Well, I do want to kill him. I really want to kill him. But I know that if I kill him, then, you know, all that bad stuff happens. Through here? No, that's not right. Um, I'm lost again, guys. Here he is. Hmm. Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. Shit. I don't have a knife. I ditched the knife. Uh, do am I close to my ship? It is docked, isn't it? Cargo hold. Weapons. Where's my knife? There it is. Bingo. Gotta love the Wi-Fi on the uh, on the on the inventory there. On that knife. Be take that over there. There we go. Okay. I have the knife. All right. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. 
Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. Well, Larry, a little chat, shall we? Well, well. You must be the one who's been accosting Claudia and Gabriel. I'm uncertain what you hope to accomplish here, but it appears we should rapidly enter into <laughs> Thank some you, sort of negotiation. <laughs> there isn't going to be a negotiation. <laughs> Au contraire, my misguided friend. There's a bargain that needs to be hammered out, and you will listen to the facts before we proceed. First, it's clear that you've obtained insider knowledge of my arrangement to defraud Galbank. The means and the method, perhaps, but not the motive. And second, I'm going to hypothesize that my compatriots are despondent regarding their share and have assisted you with this endeavor, hmm? Since we're speaking and I'm not at the reporting end of a bullet, this leads me to conclude that you desire something personal from me. Hang on, I need to get a thesaurus to understand what you're saying. <laughs> That's an amazing trick, Professor. I haven't entirely ruled out the bullet option yet. I see. That certainly places a damper on our negotiations. Perhaps I can hasten my diatribe to temper your violence-ridden contribution. In blunt terms, you have compromising materials about me in your possession. The only thing I have to offer in return are my gal bank credentials. Mm -hmm. I assume that's what you've been angling for all along? How do I know you won't report your credentials stolen? Well, I'm surprised you even posed that question at all. The answer is quite obvious. The last thing I'd want to do at this point is call attention to myself. I'm surprised you figured that out. Well, it was actually a rather easy deduction to make. It's the only thing of significant Whoa, it's... value that Whoa, I have in my possession. <laughs> it appears we've reached an accord. Wait, I'm sorry. Let me simplify that for you. <laughs> it sounds like we have a deal. Oh my god. Well, of course I trust you'll understand if I ask for us to avoid any further contact. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to formulate how I'm going to utterly ruin two very annoying business associates. Good day. Good day. Good day. Well, have a great time getting murdered. <laughs> um right let's see let's see hmm. actually quite tricky this one's kind of tricky the tricky little icky Bing, bing. Then I knew it, you tricky little bugger. And then the one. Mm, you don't fit. You do though, and you'll fit in there. Bingo. Sorry, I don't have a thesaurus. However, I do have a very nice shotgun. Look, he's storing Canuck double double in. <laughs> How is that even safe worthy? I mean. It's coffee and a 2,000 credits, so, you know, I pretty much made back why fashionable suits and urban slackware. I'll take the suit. I could always use a suit. May I, have your attention, please? I stole all your shit. Bye. Oh, that tannoy is annoying, though. I didn't loot Vera. I should have looted Vera. Now I don't know where he is. I've forgotten where, how to get back to him. Oh, uh, I think I can remember from here, actually. He was down. Mm, wait, i got to go back into the ballroom because there was like a thousand cred sticks there. 
Kill, kill him! <laughs> la, 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 la. If it's not obvious by my playthrough already, guys, I am trying all the non-violent options, mostly, sometimes, although I will, as proved in the last stream, occasionally attempt the violent options for science reason. Okay, let me ching, 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 and... This is quite a lot of credits on the old table here, isn't it? Hundreds, hundreds, equaling thousands. Yoink. Um, yeah, cool. Done yoinked all your credits. You made an entire colony shoot you just a few streams ago. Yes, yeah, yeah, that was the for science bit that I just... Oh, there's Tannoy, man. Apparently if you punch these things... Yeah, apparently not. Okay. Somebody said that if you punch like boxes of fruit, then you get fruit out of them, but I think they might have been just having a laugh. Anyway. Um, we've got the award, and we've got the Gal Bank credentials, so we are fully successful. Punch, not stab. Oh, okay. Damn it. It's back there now. Never mind. Punch, not stab. Well, looks like everything worked out. Just like we planned. I wish you hadn't blown away the gambling bet that Sandine owed me. But hey, you got the job done. I did. I couldn't have done this without your help. I got what I wanted. I'm glad one of us did. <laughs> I'm just hoping you'll put in a good word for me with Delgado. Otherwise, I'd risk my career for nothing. You know, I'm still wondering exactly what you needed those credentials for. You feel like telling me? Partner. Hell no. Uh, you mean you haven't figured it out on your own? Uh, no, I'm sure that's a good idea. I would tell you, but the guy will kill me. Ah, so he told you to keep it from me. I see. I wouldn't want you to risk your position with the fleet like Was I. Is there more stuff in the purse's safe? Good point. Leave it alone. Anyway, I suppose there's nothing stopping me from rejoining the fleet now. It's been a long time coming. I owe you one, Dover Beach. Did you call me? What did you call me? That's literally what I just Don't said. Don't worry, it's not an insult. It's a very <laughs> old Russian word for comrade. It's what I intend to call you from now on, so get used to it. Okay. Uh. I only said thanks in the form of credits. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit short in that department myself perhaps i can pay you back later and <laughs> we'll steal the wine mm. just look for me on the uh, key and i'll see what i can do well i suppose this is where we part company hopefully the next time we meet will be aboard. uh anarchist they forgot to say thank you for the bits dude uh evening mr spange thank you very much anarchist and bomb for the sub as well Oh, that Tannoy needs to shut the hell up. Hidden. Weapon case. 7 mil and an assassin's refined Eon. Who's sneaking guns on board, huh? Huh? Me. I'm armed to that. Oh! This is, this is an entire thing. Credits. 800. Refined. Deep. Poor. Space helmet. Super cooled magnet. Oh. That is to be it, though. Wait. Is there anything in the safe itself? No, I took all that, didn't I? Another safe here. I didn't realise that giant chest was a thing. A plushie! Another plushie! <laughs> awesome. Pencil case. A purser's workstation. I wonder if you can hack your way into it. Like, instead of having to steal the, the ID, you know? Damn, I thought that was going to be a guaranteed hit, that one. Um, What do we got here? Not a lot of options, actually. There we go. Just steal everything. Safe content database. 
Gold foil trading cards. Huh. Earth Savior Award. Sorted jewelry, 14 pieces. Lockdown procedures. Claim ID procedures. Right. Huh. Didn't remember seeing that. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Bashing. Deals double damage when gun bashing. 25% increase in attack speed. Well, well, well. That's delightful. Rapid AA. Stolen. Uh, might be... I don't know. Might be a good replacement for... Excuse me. Um, my other rifle. What have I got? The other rifle is... Huh. I know where it's gone now. This is that one. Let's try this one. This guy, the Peacekeeper. That's it. Yeah, Peacekeeper does 19 damage. This does 19 damage. That's got 50. They're surprisingly similar, aren't they? The AAs. Faster firing. Faster firing? Faster firing. The Peacekeeper. The great thing about the Peacekeeper is it's got a massive magazine capacity. All right. We'll try it. If I don't like it, I'll swap it back to the Peacekeeper. Why am I sneaking still? Bye. All right, who's this? This is Vera. We didn't loot Vera. He's gone, though. Medium theft modified arc welder. Yeah, eight arc welders. He's right there, actually. All passengers. He's right there. Yoink. 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 Veggie grinder. Oh, lager. That is a valuable lager. Um... I'm just going to eat that now. Right. We also didn't loot there as uh, safe either. They're just death, aren't they? Pick up your towel, you filthy animal. You see security pack. You see security space helmet. No wonder they die so easily. <laughs> the garbage. <laughs> All right, here we go. What's that jab? It's crap. Jettison out the air. <laughs> I might be salty. Um, I found in swimsuits in the game. So now my full female crew is exploring the galaxy in bikinis. <laughs> you animal. I can't, I can't be mad with you, though. That's... It's genius. It is levels of genius that even that even I would find. Damn it! Thought I had something then, but it's the wrong way round. Three. Don't go that way. There's. I think that that and that would work quite well. In fact, it does. Bingo. That one and that one. Yep. One thousand four hundred credits. And you see neighbors on cutlass. Hey. Sweet. We got some loot. We got some loot. We didn't get a lot of loot, but we got some loot. Most importantly, we have that nice award. And the credentials we need. This ship is in a state of emergency. Please return to your cabin immediately. I mean, you really should be pushing me more to return to my cabin. Is this thing got those three cabins on the entire ship? Is that it? All right, where have we got to go? Our security team would appreciate if you'd please shelter in your cabin during this emergency. Thank you. Hey, Claudia. You thought you got rid of me, but you haven't. I'm here to loot all your stuff. <laughs> yeah. My darling Claudia. A slate. Uh, I'm not sure I want to read that because it's probably from Larry. Yesterday was an amazing. The restaurant was exquisite and you look beautiful. After dinner, the night spent together was unforgettable. You know, I'd do anything for you. <laughs> okay. 
Make you like a Pac-Man and take the loot and scout. <laughs> That's the plan. That is the plan, right? How many of these will fit in here? But you will and you, but you maybe. Yep. Wait. Wait, what? Ah, crap. I had the wrong one. I thought that wasn't the... Damn it. All right, that one then. Fine. Do this this way. Probably the wrong way. Probably effed it now, haven't I? That's not going to work. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. That's, that works. Use a one. Hopefully I haven't screwed it completely. There are three. Is... Shit. Now I've screwed it completely. No, I haven't. Yay! And 780 credits. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Wine. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. Do 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 don't think too see here. La 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 la. Ha 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 ha. Bryce is trying to loot goblin all those plants. Yeah. Passengers are being asked to return to I've kind of fallen out with the plants. The only problem with the plants is that they hefty, you know? What the hell? Okay, I'll go back through that. Went through the wrong door. They hefty. And they weigh a lot, and my ship was full, and that was irritating, and yada 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 yada. So how do I get down there then? There's Not... no cause for alarm. I'm sure this is just a minor malfunction. I'm sure, but how the hell do I get down where that marker is? Damn it! It's down. It's in this. Hmm. I am confused. There's no cause for alarm. I'm sure this is just Laundry services. Wow. Formal suit jacket, vested suits. <laughs> if you want freaking Close. This is where to come here, isn't it? Holy crap! All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared. You were right. Go through that door. Emergency. I thought so, but then when the marker was telling me to go back here, I uh, just just ignore it and go through the uh, go through the ballroom. Oh yeah, the scanner does that. The thing, doesn't it? Yeah, you're right. Sorry. This is the way I thought it should be going. In. Through the crew quarters? Telling me to go back again. What is my current mission anyway? Is it to get the hell out of proceed to New Atlantis? Yeah. Why am I going to New Atlantis? Weird. Pretty sure I came through here and through here. Cockpit inaccessible. Well, this isn't right. Uh, down there. I definitely went in here. This looks familiar. There we go. Stupid markers. Just fast travel. <laughs> yeah, good point, actually. <laughs> Just fast travel. But I wanted to do the thing with the thing. And yeah, you were right. I fast traveled. Um, okay, hang on. I need to offload into the ship. Earth save reward. Value is 650,000. Annoy. Can't, can't offload a quest item. But the value weighs 2.5. The magnet. 
Okay. When did I pick that up? Assassin's Refined Eon Combat Knife. Uh, Disassembler Modified Razorback. Holy moly, look at that gun. Ho ho ho! Hmm. 20% uh, damage against robots. Arc, arc thingies are rubbish. I hate them. And that one as well. The Rapid AA, the UC Naval Clutters. Peacekeeper, which uh, I'll switch back to if the Rapid AA doesn't do any good. I don't think it's particularly great, but I've got no mods on it. It might be better if I mod it with a larger magazine and stuff compared to the uh, the Peacekeeper, but yeah, there we go. Alright. Undock. Different ship, same busted control panel. Yeah. To be fair, he's always everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't think about fast traveling because I'm always over encumbered. I'm doing a blighted every second I can. All right. Here we go. Have a little look back at the old Siren of the Stars there. That looks like it is built out of modules that you can build out of. Also looks like it's got two cockpits on it though. Yeah, it's a big boat. I think there are some modules there that aren't actually part of game structure. Whoopsie daisy. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Whee. All right, grab drive. Spin it up. Let's go. Anyone done the extra storyline? Is it more end game stuff or early game? Is that your new toy? It is, Hacker. Yep. It's still the same ship. <laughs> I think it stopped being the same ship a long time ago, though. And like, every single part of it has been replaced now. I'm pretty sure there's not an original component on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gan away. Blow it up. No, landing gears are all different. land at the uh, proceed to New Atlantis New Atlantis land guess they're not getting the deposit back on that yacht <laughs> here you go you're scratching the paint yeah I found uh, a new awesome weapon can't remember the name of it but it seems to be a machine gun rifle with a grid of barrels fires five times the grid of bullets I've seen those in screenshots and stuff yeah they look friggin insane um yeah i've not found one yet but i found uh mathis in the yeah the last stream that i did mathis picked one up i wanted it but i couldn't kill the bastard and take it off of him he didn't die nice hat hi at ease jumpsuit Oh yeah, I haven't got my pack on, have I? Whoops. No worries. But the ammo is expensive, yeah, I bet. You can, with a mod, you can make your own ammo now, so... You just need to go and get the materials for it, I suppose. I think it's just copper and lead for the most of it, but some of it has got, like, tantalum or titanium in it and stuff like that, so... Depends on the ammo. You sound happy in your job. I do like New Atlantis. It's a nice place to to look at, but I wouldn't want to live here. It's far too stuffy. Now, Neo. <laughs> That's a place I would also hate living in. But there we go. Uh, it's in Neon Spanish. You can steal it. Oh, sweet. I gotta go back to Neon. Uh, I still got the Asian Industries quest to do as well. Right, deal with the Galbank Guard. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the <clears throat> the uh, Galbank Archives. May I see your credentials, please? <clears throat> Is this where Galbank keeps all its records? Are there any other employees down here? Here you go. Just one moment while I verify. Oh, 
Uh, yes, Mr. Dombrowski. Welcome, sir. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. You're acting a bit strange. No. Look, this is my first day on the job. Just cut me some slack, okay? I can't afford to lose it. I've got a wife and kids to feed. Everything checks out. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. There we go. Have a wonderful day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! What the? F okay. What are Eclectic doing in here? Whoop. This didn't go quite according to uh, the plan, did it? Find eclectic spacesuit and a modified AA99. I will take all of that. I don't know whether the spacesuit's any good. I haven't even got one on right now. 90, that's actually pretty good. I mean, not as good as what the Mantis suit has, but 30 thermal and 20 corrosive. It's nice. Nice. Right, I did all that in a business suit. Just call me John in Wick. Let's go. Calibrated Grendel. Eh, maybe. I'll have a look. Somebody's desktop frame is that. Ooh, plushy. <laughs> I might have a new collection thing. Bit of a fluster cluck. Yep. That pistol looks like Borderlands. <laughs> Angewick, I like that. Yeah, right, let's heal a bit. Galbanks Archives. When does anything ever go to plan? Lost ship registry. Hmm, serendipity. Ah, legacy. Hmm. Last known system, Bannock. Last known planetary location, Bannock 4. Search attempts 8. Failed. Yeah, so it's probably not on Bannock 4 then. Red tank load. Classified. <laughs> Captain Liang. Interesting. I've heard that name before. Okay, what about the serendipity? Full transponder loss. Cred tank load. Classified. Alright, I'm going to have to write this down then. Alpha, uh, so... Unknown. Oh, unknown. Hmm. Damn. Captain Redgrave. Approximately valuable. 1.76 million credits. CBR 27. Departure. Intendo intended arrival point was classified. Where it went and where it went down is unknown. Huh. That's not useful. Okay. Prosperity. 121.55 thousand credits? Um... Unknown, unknown. Damn it. 
That's not useful. And the supremacy. Ah, here we go. Breadstick load. 1.16 million credits. Two attempts failed. Apparently, it went down around Saturn. So, it may be on one of Saturn's moons. So, or if it did go into Saturn, it's probably crushed into a freaking tiny little ball by about now, so... We could try it. I mean, we'd be searching a lot of moons. Okay. Anyway, we got what we needed to. Transponder information. CBR type encrypted transponder beacons. Beacons broadcast a predetermined long-range unique signature ping using high-frequency hyperburst scatter arrays. The arrays ensure that the beacons are always broadcasting a maximum spread to assist in specially equipped search vessels. Right. By accessing the archive materials, you're hereby consenting to observing propriety materials belonging to Galbank and its subsidiary. Any information contained within this system is for express use of Galbank employees only. Hmm, okay. Got what we needed. Just screenshot everything, yeah. So, well, the only information out there that was additional to what we had to get was... Uh, where's Sol? There it is. Around Saturn. Of which there are four explorable moons. Um, none of which we know. Europa's got something around it, but not on it. Ganymede, Io, and Callisto. The likelihood of finding... Anything on there is pretty low, I think, you know. Unless we just land somewhere and it RNGs us, but yeah. I think we're um, probably not going to find anything good, but... Six physical damage on a Grendel is garbage. I have one that does um, 16, for crying out loud, you know. Staggering. Explorer's Advanced Grendel. Advanced stuff is really good. If you can find that. Right. Exterminator Calibrated br Breach is a rare shotgun doing 161 physical damage with a six round magazine, accuracy of 55, fire rate of 10, 30% damage against aliens. I mean, this is going to be useful. I think I might replace my current shotgun with this thing because that sounds pretty freaking holy moly. <laughs> this looks freaking awesome. <laughs> Pretty kind of slow firing, but yeah, yeah this could be fun. I can mod the hell out of it. I love the little number indicator on the rounds as well. Very aliens. All right, I don't know if there's anything else in here that's uh, of value. I doubt it. These are just servers. So I think we should just get out of here. And I'm going to guess the guard on the outside. Uh, was also working for Ecleptic. So he's gone. Yep. He skewed adult straight away. Let's see if we're going to have any more of a fight on the way out. Put your weapons away before you leave the vault, says uh, Dragonon. I think we're okay. We're in public now. The exterminator is good for farming creatures. Nice. When getting a Grendel, you really want the mod semi-automatic. It drastically improves the damage on that weapon. Really? People joke. Say those. Um, let's see. Activities. I've got so many activities, I can't keep track of them. Enter New Homestead, talk with Sam, go to Red Mile, ask Yannick about another shift. And a lot of these, I don't know where they are. This is the problem. There's no information on these activities. Talk to Manea Adams. Where? Amza, Tevin, Astas. I need to go through them and see where they are. Maybe take a note of how many are in the same location of the ECS constant. That's that, that um, colony ship that we helped. Speak with Kumar or Rikva. Speak with Commander Tuala about joining the Vanguard. Talk to Sergeant Yumi. I know it, Yumi and that those two are on uh, right here, you know. But um, I'm trying not to get too squirreled right now. 
I have an assassin advanced Grendel with 66 damage. Dude, that's freaking awesome. That must shred like crazy. I think having a gun out when you talk to someone is minus 20% to persuasion chance tend to be a feature in Bethesda games. Yeah, true. Very true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically sheathing your weapon in Skyrim or something like that. It's basically saying, hey, I give up, you know, and the guards will then, uh, rather than kill you, just like, try and arrest you again, I suppose. I don't even know where Sergeant Yumi is. Maybe he's in there. Hi. How you doing? There's a show on map button. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. I need to go through and actually like go, okay, these are in Neon, these are in um, so-and-so. And then like come up with a little order to go through them. And I suppose it's something I can do once I've kind of not necessarily run out of main storylines, but kind of get to a point where... I want to go off again in a different direction, you know? Like I say, the inside of my ship is so confusing. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got these weapon cases. I forgot about these. Right, hang on. Uh, no, cargo hold. Uh, cargo hold. I got some quite cool weapons that would be quite cool to put into these cases. Like the shattering arc welder. I like this gun. Modified Razorback would look really cool. Extended magazine calibrated Grendel. 100 mag. Explosive lawgiver. Oh, yeah, that, that knife. That looks really cool. What if I'd raise it back in there? That looks cool, right? Nope. Calibrated Grendel. Wait. Is this my inventory? It's not the ones that I wanted to put in here. Huh. Alright. Well, um... Yeah, modified AA99 in there then. That would look kind of cool. Yield order. Which actually, I can't put a knife in any of those things. Alright, fine. Is there a fence that will clean your stolen weapons? Hmm. Not that I know of. Yeah, getting kind of attached to that gun and then uh, the point as well. I forgot on crew. The Casa del Spanish Calypso. Barrett is unassigned. Danny is unassigned. Mora is unassigned. Basco is unassigned. I like having Basco about. Maximum number, okay. There are a couple of people that were not assigned to a ship that could have assigned to a ship, so. There we go. <clears throat> there is, is there? Okay, cool. I've heard weapons on display disappear. Mm -hmm. Don't put anything important in them then. Anyone in the trade authority clean a weapon, you sell it to them and then go back and buy it back. Oh, sweet. Use buyback. Oh, that's quite cool. Trade authority. Nice. Good to know. Let's get out of it. Hey, Resurgum. Very little murder so far, actually. Much more self-defense. <clears throat> yeah, Billy, me too. 
Yeah, me too. I, uh, wait, hang on. Where am I going? Am I going back to the, uh, the fleet now, I guess? Yeah, back to Crix. Let's go. Back to the Crimson Fleet. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be careful not to, um, because the buyback only stays. As long as you stay in the menu, you leave, and then that buyback option disappears, doesn't it? How many temples have you found? Just the one so far, Billy, but I haven't really been looking for them. I think I've, I think I know where there's another, like, three of them, but, uh, yeah, I've just been, I've, I've been busy with the side missions, man. They're far more interesting than the main story, in my opinion. Which is, I, I don't know, maybe it gets better the more you go into it, I don't know. That whole constellation thing, I'm just like, eh. Now the Crimson Fleet. Hang on. Corporate espionage erosion. Now hang on. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. <clears throat> you want to kick back? Avoid the last Nova. Bog's gonna funk that kid. All right. <laughs> Speak to Bog. All right. Yeah, I'm getting activities here on the key as well now. Oh my god. All right. This is what I mean. You just walk around and you get mission after mission after mission. The rock office aboard the key. Told me everything that happened. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. Now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. Didn't say he could join. Rogov made me do everything, but at least he got what he wanted. Don't like Rogov. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. Join the club. You get a free poster and a Dakota ring. Sounds great. Cut the shit, Neva. Well, since you're not vouching for Rogov, I am going to tell him to leave. For good this time. All right. Now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand. Crix's legacy. Speaking of which, let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Ah, so the Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. No, 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 the transponder was lost over Bannock 4. Why does that sound familiar? Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And I got it. Bannock 4. Let's see. Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant. We can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. EM class gas giant? Don't know that one, huh? Well, pick up your pencil. There's gonna be a test on this later. EM class means the planet is given off a ridiculously I guess that much. high amount of electromagnetic radiation. We're talking off the charts here. Fly your ship anywhere near one of these death traps. <laughs> That's <you'll> cold. <laughs> every single circuit on your ship. I say a lot of things, you'll Brian. Be dead in space. <laughs> get it? I used him. Basically, I said what he what he wanted to hear so that I could get what he needed out of him. Yeah, it's cold, but that's because the, the Crimson Fleet, dude. Got a power that shows NPC through walls like Skyrim's belt. Nice. All right, so we've hit a dead end. Yeah, Rook. Just like every other time we've gone on this worthless treasure hunt. Both of you, shut up and think for a second. I'm sure Creeks hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. Agree with Nave. This might be leading us nowhere. Maybe the date is wrong. No, no, this all makes sense. The data says the transport went down over Bannock 4, carrying currency during the Narian War. Mm -hmm. There were ships fighting across the entire galaxy back then. It's not that hard to believe this one got lost that far out from home. Right, okay, Crix wouldn't have given up. That's the spirit, Rook. That is the essence of the Crimson Fleet that has been slipping away lately. Neva, the Galbank data says the transport had a CBR-27 transponder. Can we track that kind of thing? Pinpoint its exact location? That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra-bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. 
We don't have shit like that laying around. But before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard that the UC's been working on a ship signal decryption system called the comm spike. We grab that little beauty, and we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. Brooke, I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that comm spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comm spike with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. Um, I see you chat. I see you chat. Bad Billy and, and you guys saying do the do the profile quest on the side. Oh well, I'll go and talk to Bog now. Uh, oh great. S stick with me, neighbor. You don't give up easily, do you? We'll figure this out, I promise. We'll do the best we can. Eh, you don't give up. We do or we die. That's the way Cricks did things. And that is the way we should have been doing it for years. It's as simple as that. Cricks was a fucking animal. Alright. We'll do the best we can. Best we can? What are you, five? All right. All right. Jesus! We are in arm's reach of Crix's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. All right. Let's get this over with. Follow me. Hmm, all right. He's walking ever so slightly faster than me. This is annoying. The NPCs all walk at different speeds. God damn. I don't even mod this thing. Eh, walk faster, man. Yep. Next time you see I'm at 1.4 million in comments, man. Catching up, lol. <laughs> nice, Anarchist. Grab all the slates, too. Yeah, I haven't actually gone through the key properly and... Uh, and uh, looted anything yet. I need to. Smuggling beats a real job any day. Speak to Nave. Yeah, so this is the thing I need to do. Just go through and look for things like that. You've got stuff to smuggle. I've got the stuff to hide it. Hey, champ. I'm including this month's list of parts I need for the key. Don't bust a gut. It's hefty, but I know you can handle it. I'm going to need a lot more than usual this time. I'm planning to overhaul the entire electrical system before it completely shorts out. Oh, yeah. Thanks yeah, for sending I've got it, Billy. Reactor specs. That's what I'm saying. Tell you exactly why I need it not walking. It's not working Tell anymore. Keep it hush, hush. As far as next month's shipment, start scrounging up some parts so I can spruce up our defensive batteries. They're looking kind of rusty. Well, I guess that's it for now. I'll have my people in New Atlantis drop off the payment at the spaceport. Just make sure you aren't being followed. We wouldn't want the UC to know they're providing replacement parts to the Crimson Fleet. Oh, waiter, just put everything on a freaking slate. Ah, Chandra Pinar. Nice. Protein, circuit boards, baseball display. Not an antique baseball, though, so it's probably not as worth, uh, worth as much. Okay. All right, Nave. All right, let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award, or am I going to be very disappointed? I couldn't find it. What's Jazz doing here? Why do I have the feeling you're going to make more money off this than I am? <laughs> what is Jazz doing here? First of all, this is my section of the key, so I'm going to stand here for as long as I want. And second of all, I know all about that award and your deal with Neva. We don't keep secrets between us. Just throttle down and give her the damn thing already so we can get to work. Why do I have the feeling you're going to make more money? Well, that's because you'd be absolutely right. Damn it! You see, everyone above you in the fleet is making more than you are off the same gig. That's why we're all fighting our way to the top. Understood? Good. 
Now, you might want to hand over that award before I have you talk. Hey, Simon. The key. Just a thought. Fine. Well, well. Look at that. You followed my directions, and now you're gonna end up with some credits in your pocket. Of course, it would have been more money if you hadn't blabbed about the damn thing to roll call. But that's on you. Anyway, here's your cash. Keep this up, and I might even start respecting you. I thought right. we removed Rokov from the fleet. Why is he getting a cut? So let's get to it. 3,000 credits. I mean, the thing was worth 650,000 or something. All right, fine. Report mission progress to the UC. Mm -hmm. All right. So, you guys said I should do some side quests here on the key. What? So there I am. You see security on my tail. And my graph drive just jokes. And you know what I find back there? The fattest leech I've ever seen. One nearly got me dusted. You should clean your ship every once in a while then, maybe, huh? Built the animal. Yeah. Cool robot. Can I loot it? Hmm, okay. Um... What was that? You know more targets. Yeah, wins. My first run though, I was a hundred percent good guy, and that made me locked out certain sectors of space because this Crimson Fleet lit me up like Fourth of July. After that, Crimson Fleet for life. <laughs> you gotta go a bit pirate every now and again, right? Arr, you know, you gotta go a bit pirate, right? So I'm looking for slates and stuff like that. Um, I also need to talk to Bog in the Nova. Public access computer. Bog's rules for the Nova. Don't piss me off. Everyone drinks sober. Get out. Drink at your own risk. No killing unless they deserve it. You got a grudge? Spit it out. I'm a bartender. I don't read minds. No pissing on the walls. No hogging in the ping pong table. And I pick the music. Fair enough. Message from Shina Voss. Shinya Voss. Credits are the lifeblood of the fleet. Blah, 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 blah. Uh huh. Whatever. Pair your damn ship. Mm -hmm. Wait room etiquette. <laughs> Wipe down your equipment. <laughs> Message board. Siren in the stars. Word is Rockcroft is trying to get back into fleet. If you ask me, we should do the old bait and switch. Get him to invite a lot of us on board and lend us in with the crew. Then when I give the signal, we rob that boat full of the rich bastards blind. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Messing with Wilby. Someone stole my friend Wilby. Since you're all pirates, every single one of you is a suspect. I need that thing to sleep. Better have it back in my bunk tomorrow, otherwise there will be hell to pay. Hell! Hell! Re-siren the stars. Blend in. We'd stick out like a cactus in a snowstorm. <laughs> uh, yep. Anyone interested in starting a band and the shooting ring? <laughs> Brilliant. Love it. Clean my weapons. Uh, can I do it here, or is it just the trade authority that could do it? Can I talk to Taryn? No price is too high when it comes to... Tactical gear is my specialty. Don't leave the key without it. Yeah, I've got the rapid AA is the only thing that I can I can do there. Um, uh, buy buy back. There you go. It's clean. <laughs> it's clean. Thank you. Uh, when are you just selling anything else? Set up. I got um. Digipix, sell from the ship here. Yeah, I've got loads of stuff here. I'm just going to sell this stuff. Where did I get all this stuff from? Why have we been picking this stuff up? Why is it in my ship? <laughs> Coffee mugs, cubes, cutting pliers, digi frames. Oh crap, I just sold some Digipix. I'll, I'll buy them back in a second. Folders. I haven't been picking this stuff up for ages. How is this happening? Got to keep the plants. Wow. I wouldn't have been struggling with freaking uh, space on board. Right, there we go. Right, and... Buy back. 
DG picks. D D D D D DG pick. DG pick. There you go. All right. Stay safe out there. Gun laundering like a pro. The rascal who smiled at me funny, I sewed his mouth shut. Now he laughs the same way he eats in pieces. So much crap, right? Uh, okay. Need something? No, not really. These materials don't sell themselves. There's nothing in this weapon case. You suck. I've got what you need for the price. <laughs> for the price. I have no idea where there might be any slates. I don't think they'll be here. Um, they're probably up in like if they got quarters and stuff like that anywhere. Trade authority. The trade authorities here. Oh. Reiki. Wow. They get everywhere, those guys. Right, let's go talk to Bog. Oh, your notepads are belong to me. Ah, yeah, right? <laughs> Something I can get for you? I was wondering when you'd wander my way. The name's Fergus. Fergus Wickham. But you could call me Bog. Welcome to the last Nova. Where the drinks are never free. Didn't stop the chat, came here for a drink. I just found my new home away from home. How do you get the name Bog? Got it back in my experimental days. Before we fixed up Nova, she was a real boggy messy. Practically an indoor swamp. I figured some of what's grown around here could make some decent booze. And some might say I only got the booze part right. Uh, just found my new home away from home. As long as you're buying, stay as long as you like. The last Nova never sleeps, so no last call here. Since it's your first time with us, I'm willing to make an exception to the rule and offer you my speciality. On the house. He said no drinks are ever free. One free bottle of Bog's Grog. Uh, uh, let me guess. It's an acquired taste. <laughs> Good ones always are, mate. <laughs> and if you like it, you're in luck. Cheapest drink you can find. And guaranteed to drown those sorrows. Heard you've been moping around, Bog. No one likes a sad bartender. <laughs> ah. Um... Sounds a bit confrontational, but let's go for it. Yeah. Working around this lot, day in, day out. You'd think they wouldn't give it there. Hey, curious mind. Oh, that's alright, dude. Welcome along. Oh, they don't? I think it's a genuine complaint. You listen to our problems, so let me listen to yours. Oh, that's nice. I think I'm going to take you up on that I guess I'm thinking of my dear old Maddie. The only woman I ever know. Aww. I almost married her. I missed my chance and lost to one of my best mates. Play sucks. You, you want to help an old man out? Bring me back the one thing that is that ever meant anything to me. The ring. All right, I got the ring, but I better be getting paid for this. What's the story here? Maddie had my eye back in the day. The thing was, she had the eye of my best mate too. A bloke by the name of Clay Dietrich. I'll kill him. Clay and I hit a luxury liner and snatched a ring I knew Maddie would love. Before I could say anything, Clay asked if he could have it and he used it to propose. Long story short, Clay married Maddie and they ran off to raise hell with a cliptic. And then he got the poor girl killed. Oh, he's definitely dead. <laughs> You're in luck. Clay showed up on my radar a bit ago. Probably why I'm in a bigger rut than usual. I'll send you the details. I don't care how you do it. Just get that ring back. Nice. Captains get better uniforms, better perks. I bet they even get better drugs. Guaranteed to get better drugs. Is there anything behind here? Drinks and rats. <laughs> Neighbors on Edge lately, part of its 
vouching for Rake, but she's been burned before. What's bloody changed is the timing. We're spread thinner than a Marmite right now. The whole crew knows it. Maybe this new Rook will plan out, but if things keep going bad, it's going to be like rats leaving a sinking ship. Some of the mates have been complaining about watered-down drinks, like it's my fault we're serving this piss. <laughs> nice. Oh, ammo. Sweet. There's, uh, there's Carefully, something. Let's talk about something else. How did the Crimson Scar become the Crimson Fleet? After I busted out of the lock, I decided to take things to the next level. I had the key, a few UC ships, and a couple dozen ex-cons at my side. But I needed more, so I sent out the call. Once word got around, it didn't take long for freelance pirates from every corner of the settled systems to show up. And this is how the Crimson Fleet was born. Exactly. The key became our base of operations. We spent months reinforcing our position there, making it nearly impossible to <laughs> approach. What was the UC's response to the situation? First of all, UC security gave up and handed the reins over to the big guns, the UC Navy. The Navy in turn sent ships to attack the key. I'd say there have been three major attacks over the last few years. Ouch. You can tell by the fact we're having this interview. All the attacks were embarrassing failures. Ooh, that's going to burn the Navy. All these embarrassing failures led them to form UC systems. <laughs> Absolutely. They've clearly given up and decided to shove the responsibility onto a separate division. That way, in the public eye, the UC Navy can move forward proud and strong. While UC Sysdef continually takes all the blame. Makes all sense. PR spin for them, Gail. That's how the UC operates. Kind of disgusting, don't you think? Hmm. Sounds a bit like you're trying to deflect attention off the atrocities the Crimson Fleet commits on a daily basis. Ooh. Atrocities, huh? How about fighting the Freestar Collective over a bunch of rocks hanging in space? How about thousands of people dying while a bunch of pencil-pushing bastards sit in a cushy office and draw lines on a star map? Maybe the United Colonies should stop the bullshit and take a hard look in the mirror to see who the monsters really are. Ooh. Things get heated. Gale's really playing with fire there. I mean, have you seen Crix's freaking rap sheet? Everyone. The guy's a freaking animal. Did you pick? Hey, yeah, have any of you guys got any, like, you know, incriminating evidence around here? No? Alright, fine. Hey, Freddy. You're all good, buddy. You're all good. I know, for, for many of you, I start these streams very early on, but, uh, you're all good. Turn up whenever you can. I appreciate you being here whatever whatever time you can be. At all, really. <laughs> it's very much appreciated. Somebody's got to lift a left a um, a slate in the gym here. Oh look, peak performance, permanently increased carrying capacity by five kilos. Bingo! Here we go. Bricks interview part two. Ah, uh, I'm not sure if I have got the will to listen to that anymore. Oh, Aurora contraband. Let's sell that to the UC, uh, the trade authority here. Ammo, 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 ammo. Very nice. <laughs> Shot glasses. I like it. Bunks. So, the bunks then. Bunks may have some slates, but I doubt they'll be very incriminating. The best place would probably be the... Uh, uh, the... the operation centre at the top there. Delgado's office, you know? Place is dumb. Smuggling, stealing, pirating. There's a lot of ways to earn some scratch and a rep. This is trash. Absolutely trash. 
Mira's demise evidence. Say that again. You think I'm who? Stop playing games. We both know your real name <clears throat> is Lionel Soto, and you know why I'm here. Who are you? Fleet? Be curious, mind. Thank you for the five dollars. I've spent two long years and every credit I had looking for you, just so I could look you in the eye before I pulled the trigger. I was with a gun. There must be some mistake. I honestly don't know who you are. Of course you don't know who I am. You're never concerned with the death you leave in your wake, in your pursuit of greed. You killed my husband, you son of a bitch! And now I'm going to kill you! Oh. Ah, such a terrible shame. All that time and money she wasted. Ah, well. Better get rid of the body. Oh, damn. She took too long. She monologued hard and died. Oh, man, I feel bad. I'm over it. All right, don't monologue. Glad Just... that job's finally over. I thought the UC would never stop chasing us. You gotta hit him like a wise yeah, guy, you know? We lost him in that Pretend to be their friend, and then before they know what's going on, blam! Bricks' cool. interview part seven. Oh my god, there are seven parts of that interview? Oh, shit. Could've oh, I'm not sure I could be bothered. I'm concerned you're the best damn pilot in the fleet. And drinks are on me. Oh, someone's got some tidy quarters. Mm, advanced, huh? It's better be a damn good spacesuit. I haven't found anything to even come close to the mantis yet. Alright, that goes that goes there. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Uh that one doesn't go, that one goes, that one goes. That one goes there. Hmm. Okay. Do that one. Oh wow, that was a terrible decision. <laughs> That's the worst one I could possibly have used. Really deep mining suits. All that. I mean, got 30 airborne resistance. It's kind of good. Blows. Demos pack. Ah, I wish these freaking spacesuits were a little bit worth actually the weight that they, uh, the weight that they are, you know? All right. <clears throat> Baseball. Uh, pale ale. Lovely. Take that. Wow. I'm doing well on the slate front here. I've got two pieces of evidence so far. That's it. Stolen artwork. Sell that. Alright, well, we're coming up to the um, operations center now anyway. Hello. No, 
coffee mug, toilet paper. <laughs> Yeah, there's really not a lot in these these bunks, is there? Requires a key. Locked door, got a pick. Yeah, exactly. You know the pain, man. You know the pain and the suffering. All right, so this is where I'd expect to find slates. Kinetics, electromags, energy weapons. Nothing to substitute for shotgun blast to the face. We may not always have a ask for a bigger cut. It's all We're about always making always those credits. Don't mind me. Well, this is really not a great deal here, is there? Boardroom. Nothing. Seriously? Wow. Base rock display. Almost like there's a safe under there, but uh, I don't think it is. Wait. Rick's interview part four. Did you pick? Cash. If it looks like I'm looking for evidence, it's not what I'm doing, Delgado. Don't worry about it. I'm just grabbing a beer. <laughs> I'll sell it to the... Uh, Authority soon. Maybe that I need to just like spend a bit more time doing the missions and more slates will appear later. Moment. Shit about. I can't remember if it applies here. Sometimes it pays to look up for vent systems. Yeah. I've not seen much in the way of secret kind of panels and doors in this game, yeah. Not to say there isn't any, but Rick's interview part six. Red sticks, red sticks. Diary of someone, someone's diary. This is just disgusting. Who lives like this? punch that but I end up drawing a weapon instead tombstone over the bed makes sense if that's Delgado's uh, bunk then he really doesn't have much data going on here does he maybe this will do personal logs a lead on the legacy not much for signs and omens it's mostly just a bunch of bullshit you at Ibuela will tell you after one too many visits to the fortune teller, but it's hard not to see things lining up. Neva brings on the new recruit, we take them down to the lock, and just like that, the picture is clear. The legacy isn't some myth, it's a ship with history and a goddamn paper trail. Best part, nobody knows about it but us. Well, and Galbank. Sometimes I dream about Aquila City, the sand dusted streets, the thick, heavy air, and the core of the wild beyond the wall. Everything is just how I remember it. I'm back with my old crew doing heists and busting heads for loose change. Milk money, we called it. And we were the bullies. There's only one thing that's off, really. The days have no light. Every time I look up, the sky is pitch black. First, I thought it was old age. I spent so much time on this floating space piece of tin. Maybe I've forgotten what the Keeler sky looked like. But that's not it. When I'm awake, I can remember all of it easy enough. Uh, it's because even as an arrogant little street punk, subconsciously I know Aquila City isn't home. Up here, with the fleet, is where I belong. Bingo. Regarding the specifications for my inter 
interface, I'm going to need to make a few minor adjustments. Galbank is switching to an on orthogonal hexabit encryption. So I want to crank up the core clock on my ARM hardware. You probably get that equipment from Rayun. I also need to have a storage injector port added so I can keep any damn trace packets off my system. Probably wouldn't hurt to throw in some electromagnetic protection too. The electrical systems on the key is terrible and a short circuit could fry the whole setup. Last but not least, I might need a few cushions for the chair in the Reckoner's core. They're wearing a bit thin. <laughs> nice. Found it. All right. We have some evidence. I mean, never, never mind. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> Bye. All right. Aside from going through the entire thing, like with a fine tooth comb again. I think that'll do for now. I don't think we're going to find any more slates anywhere. Right, I do have some stolen, I mean, um, liberated stuff. We're going to sell that to the trade authority here. Hello. See what we have now. That's. What will it be, friend? Buying, selling. The trade authority takes anything. One of the most obvious secret doors are the big orange ones that say emergency exit and use the cutter. Yeah. If they've got the little thingies on them, I can cut them through, yeah. Uh, what? Back off, I'm not your friend. I'm just seeing what the depot has to offer. The fleet's got an impressive commerce system. Just they take me to the goods. a legitimate doctor among their ranks. Business on the key is like no other. It's the sole reason I'm here. For the credits. Mm-hmm. Credits are all you want, you'll fit no, right I in. Think so. I'm still trade authority, not a part of the fleet. There are a few, Neva included, that see me as an outsider. Regardless, as long as the fleet has goods to push, the trade authority will always maintain a presence on the key. Let's talk business. I hope you're not low on credits. Well, likewise, I got more than you. Just about, and that's after I freaking redid my ship for 50,000 credits. Uh, anyway, let's sell Misk. You've got some stolen artwork. Baseball displays. And um thought I picked something else up. Oh yeah, Aurora. That was it. You can have that. Drinks, digi picks. Oh, and some lager. You can have some lager. I got a stolen peach. <laughs> Secret outpost. Um, synth meat, trauma packs. Yeah, okay. I think that's pretty much it. Um, I didn't pick up any. Oh, I got a refined eclectic spacesuit, which is actually kind of quite good, but it's refined. Not the best. Great, I'm going to sell it. I sold it. Bye. Remember, all there's a quest in the story where no, that helps. Any cutting weapon will do, like knife, axe, if you want a silent approach. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Let's get out of here. Where the hell is the outfit? This way. I used to work for a mechanic. I don't mind the key. I just wish they'd kind of clean the place up a bit. <laughs> you know? Clean your digi picks. Ah, it doesn't really matter. Ask a jazz about any ship upgrades. Nothing worse than a pirate ship with no birthday. Mm, nice, Hava. That's very nice. I have got a mission for Walter. How's it going? Alright. Still in my suit. Still looking sharp. Let's have a little look see. Right, so we've got to... We gotta we gotta speak to the UC Vigilance again. We gotta reclaim Maddie's ring. We've got so many freaking things to do I don't even want to do. 
Uh, return to the Rayun Tower at uh, Neon. Survey a habitable planet. That's kind of a sort of background. Talk to Mr. Tate. All the money can buy. Talk to Walter Stroud. That's the one, yeah. Walter Stroud. we got to buy a, a, a thing. Follow distortions on the scanner. Acquire the power on, on Nebas. All right. Let's go and do Maddie's ring for Bog. And then we'll go to the Vigilance, I think. Teleport to your ship. Just remember you can. Yep. How did you get the picture? Oh, yeah. I was in one of the lockers. I was in one of the lockers. I can't remember which one. Yeah, I try not to fast travel absolutely everywhere. It's really easy in this game to just fast travel to everything. But uh, I feel like you just you lose something when you do. I like to like go into the ship and then like lock on to Lunara here and then actually do the whole jump drive thing rather than just playing the menu game. Personal choice. You get cool effects like this. Rather than just constant loading screens. They saw a Twitter the other day, sorry, X, whatever. Um, somebody was like, oh, this, what, if Bethesda made Cyberpunk and literally everything they did was a loading screen. <laughs> Pretty funny. Uh, right, deserted Cliptic Garrison. This will be interesting. I bet it's not deserted. Uh, I kind of decided first run there is my hero run, then new game one will be my the boys run through. <laughs> Void Crew was funny, Patrick. That was a good game. I hope we can play that again on Monday. Let's see what happens. Alright, this time I definitely need to equip my spacesuit. Alright, Mantis suit is on. Alright. Let's have a look around. Captain, greetings. I heard there is a group planning and modding in the Star Wars galaxy into... Um, Star Citizen. Is that SC or Star Citizen? Ooh. Dream solar radiation. Alright. Gotta go over there. Ambient heat. Yikes. This place is not friendly. Oh, look what we have here. Ecleptic. Not so secret after all, huh? Have we got any silenced weapons? I don't think I do anymore, actually. I think I got rid of them all. Of course, I could, uh, I could just hit them with the old Ash to Tamer. This will spice things up very quickly. See if I can stab them. I'm hidden. I'm hidden. There's a robot. Right, okay. The robot. I mean, I just parked a ship right here, so the fact that they're surprised that someone's here is ridiculous. Right, the robot hasn't seen me yet. Oh. I gotta get all the way up there, stealthily. That ain't happening. Alright, let's get this over and done with. What is that? Old Betty here. She'll do. <clears throat> Hi, motherfuckers. Oh. That guy was a little tougher than I expected. Boom pop. Ballistic weapons permanently do an additional 5% more critical damage. I will take that. Thank you very much. All right. Where's the up?
Oh. I mean, if you're coming down to my level, let's freaking dance. <laughs> what the hell? Kiki Burger. <laughs> He's getting in or out. Whoa! Oh! Things again, spicy. I'm taking some health damage here due to environmental issues. Suck. Interesting. There's a lot of blood down here. Worms. Oh. The hell is throwing grenades? My suit is really not happy with me right now. Why are you all huddling in the corner? Oh, bless you. Unsent letter. Right. Damn it. I have no grenades. Robos. 11 shrapnel grenades. Frag mines, impact grenades. Impact grenades sounds fun. Level 34. He's a little above my pay grade. <laughs> ah, my face! That backfired real quick.
guy took a lot. Incendiary space. Mercenary helmet. Sweet. Uh, suppressed refined Grendel. Hang on, did that say 60 damage? 10 damage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, so. Maddie's ring. Assassin's refined maelstrom. 42 damage. Not bad. I really need to get off this planet. It's killing me. <laughs> it's literally killing me. Construction crew, crew computer. Those stealth grenades can be tricky here. <laughs> He's not as affected as the grenade to the face as he should be. <laughs> crew orders. No, under no circumstances should members of the construction team be supplementing their meals with rations to the cargo ship and the rations we receive each week keep us alive through... The following week, in addition, the rations in those shipments are tailored to our crew's individual dietary needs. You'll all find a filled out nutrition form when you accept this assignment. Do you want to find out what happens when I digest a butcher's best turkey? I don't think so. Next crew member caught stealing from cargo containers is sent into the wilderness to find their own food. Ouch. Damn. Alright. I think we can go. I think we're done here. So I'll probably I'll have a lot more loot here. I'm just worried about this ticking clock I've got. Gamming away. Bam. 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 So that is a ship. Chameleon deep space mining helmet. Actually pretty good protection on that suit. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Running well, blah, 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 blah. Oops. That is not a bad maelstrom. 40, 40 round mag, 60 fire rate, 42 damage. 7 mods, 30% against aliens, long barrel, medium scope, suppressor, armor piercing rounds, and semi automatic. That is not actually a bad one. I think that might even be better. You know, it's better than the Peacekeeper in the AAA, uh, the AA99 that I've got. That's, um. Yeah, that's tidy. Right, what have we got that's weighing so much? I think it's probably just the uh, the extra suit of armor that I just picked up. Though that exterminating caliber breach rate weighs 7.3. Wow. The suit is very heavy as well. And so is that maelstrom. Yeah. Maybe the peacekeeper as well. I might store that and that one. Incendiary mercenary space helmet. Uh, that's quite a lot better than the mantis helmet that I've got in there. Uh... Minus 15% incoming physical damage from ranged weapons. Two, two max auto attempts that can be banked while hacking. A 10% chance to ignite nearby enemies. That's freaking sick. <laughs> Put it on. Um, yeah, that's what everybody has. And then a sensor chip shock troop space helmet. Better corrosive damage. Light weight as well. Minus 15 from enemy from human enemies. 20% plus 25 corrosive damage, resistance, and 20% more accuracy while firing on the move. Kind of meh. I get it, it's lighter weight though. Um, the deep mining suit isn't as good as what I've got, so I can keep that. What about the pack? Veterans deep mining pack. Yeah, it's lightweight, but that's about it. Okay, so keep that. 
Keep that. Mirrored Mantis Helmet. We'll put that back on there. We got a new helmet, guys. All right. Check your aid for ship parts. Oh god, do you think I got them on me? No. The double. Yeah, I mean, I got that. An alien genetic material. Loads of Chandra, Unar, wine, basically. What is that? 75% 75 damage resistance for three minutes. Oh, Bog's Grog. 20 carry capacity for 10 minutes. I'm keeping that on me. <laughs> Keep it out on me. I really crap. All of this stuff. It's all food. It doesn't need to be. I don't need to carry that around. The meds help, obviously. Um, with the conditions and stuff like that, but yeah, everything else can go away. Alright, is there actually a way onto this ship? Or is it, because that looks like just like a cargo bay and that's it. So this ship actually isn't is a ship, is it? It's um it's part of the base, I think. Wait. Damn it. Yeah, these bays do not appear to actually connect with the ship itself. The ship must have a different boarding ramp. But I honestly, I don't believe this is one I can get on board and take. I've never seen these boarding things before. These uh, cargo bays. I don't see any other way on it. There are no doors inside these bays. So I think it's part of the furniture, guys. Unless you saw something I didn't. That looks like the front boarding bay there, and it's it's not open. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here before I die of radiation poisoning. Yeah, it's weird because you can see inside the cockpit. Yeah. It is a bit weird, but there we go. My guns are still in their cases, which is nice. All right. New helmet out of that. Quite nice. Possibly a new gun as well. Let's actually check that out before I head off. Weapons. Right. Terminating Assassin Fire Maelstrom. We're going to replace our AA-99 with that and see how we do with this one. The AA-99 and the Peacekeeper will store. Let's go. Bleep, bleep, bleep. I like my ship. I think it looks cool. <laughs> I think my ship looks cool. Uh, okay, I guess we've got to get back to the key. Uh, but we need to go back to the key after we talk to UC Vanguard, so let's do that instead. Let's go back to report mission progress to the UC Vigilance, not the Vanguard. That's all the way down. Wait, what have I got down, down at Olympus? Oh, the Vigilance is at Olympus, which is worrying because that's where my freaking outpost is. Siren of the Stars is there as well. That's interesting. Let's go. Make it on Imperion. Uh, a bit curvy. I mean, it might be possible.
I don't know why you'd restrict yourself on Imperion like that. Everything's built out of modules here on uh, Starfield. There was a large orange container at the back of that ship that was locked. Oh, damn. Sorry, Patrick. I did not see that. Vasco, seriously. Space. Personal space. All that stuff. You can do curves in Imperium, but uh, they don't generally come out looking very good. I mean, they're just gradient slopes, basically, so... So Just lots of flat was a lines, you know. On the siren of the stars. Your handiwork, I assume. Nobody died. I was fine. I was able, a, able to successfully steal the Galbank credentials. News travels fast. Some of the siren and the stars passengers should be arrested. <laughs> nice work. Any specific evidence you picked up regarding criminal activity should be given to Lieutenant Toft after the debriefing. If the evidence pans out, you can visit those alleged criminals in our brig the next time you stop by the Vigilance. But for now, what do you have on Delgado and his little ragtag group of pirates? I was able to successfully... Yes, and I heard there were no casualties. Excellent work. Obviously. Except for the ecliptic hit squad that you took down at the archives. You've taken care of that mess, by the way. Thank you. Speaking of which... I assume you copied the information from the Galbank's computers. Let me see what you've got. So the legacy went down at Bannock 4. Bannock 4. Hmm. It's exactly the cell, Mr. Delgado. <laughs> Bannock 4 is an EM class gas the, the giant, freaking, sir. They're just a little bit more There's polite to each other. I could safely <laughs> get near that type of world. I feel like they've hit a dead end. Good. That should slow them down for a while. Maybe, but I feel like I'm helping them too much. You you almost have to feel bad for them. <laughs> They're moving faster than you think. Look, I spent all day listening to those idiots running in circles. Are you telling me I don't know my own job? Yeah, all, right. all right. I didn't Calm mean down. that. Wow. How did you get that from that? Even if Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem, there's still the matter of tracing the legacy's transponder signal. Mm -hmm. I think... They think something called the comma spike will solve that problem. Can't you just fly someone out there and trace it yourselves? Aren't you concerned that I'm helping them get closer to Quix's legacy? Take it easy, hacker. Cheers, buddy. Um, so we're on a different playthrough. It was high level locked. Don't know if you could have unlocked it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't do. No, I can do masters now. I think I'm not I can certain. attempt masters. Galbank uses their own proprietary transponder system. Even a ship as old as the legacy would be a challenge to trace. And even if we could find the ship, we don't have anything strong enough to resist those levels of EM radiation. Unfortunately, we're hampered by the same obstacles as the Crimson Fleet. Hey, Rick. Hmm. Aren't you concerned I'm helping them get closer to Crix's legacy? We don't really have a choice in the matter. There are no shortcuts. The route you're taking to secure Crix's legacy for the Crimson Fleet is the only one at our disposal. You suddenly change your behavior, they'll know something's wrong. I realize it's difficult, but I urge you to stay the course for now. In the meantime, I didn't say it was difficult. I just asked you if you were concerned. Doesn't get their hands <laughs> on that money. Okay, I'm gonna have to tell him about the comm spike they thing have then. Information about the comm spike? <sighs> Damn it! I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that device, sir. No, you shouldn't be familiar with it. It's a highly classified project. It's an advanced signal decryption and tracking device that the UC Navy's been working on for years. How the hell did the Crimson Fleet find out about that? There must be an information leak somewhere, sir. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'll see what I can find out. Fine. This is what we're going to do. You keep playing along and go after the comm spike. Lieutenant Toft and I will see what we can find out about Bannock 4. Aren't we going to warn the UC Navy about my attempt to grab the comm spike? I don't see the point. The Crimson Fleet apparently has a pipeline of information flowing from somewhere within the UC military. Yeah, they do. <laughs> and if they to move the comm spike would be a waste of time. We need to play this close to the vest. I think you mean chest, but all right. I'll report back. 
Perfect. Just stick with the plan and we'll see who gets to Krix's legacy first. All right, Tofty. Yay, 22, Tofty. What can I do for you? I have evidence for you. Excellent. Let me have it and I'll upload it to our database. Picked up from this from the lock on Penny. It's amazing that all this romantic nonsense about Crix's legacy really just amounts to a rumor Jasper Crix picked up in jail. It just goes to show you how a tiny rumor can snowball into a full blown fairy tale. Not really a fairy tale, though, is it? It's real. Got this piece of information on a certain Gal Bank employee who was aboard the Siren and Stars. Are you kidding me? Dombrowski was already making a six figure salary, and yet he couldn't resist starting an embezzlement scheme. It makes me sick. Ah, oh, it's gonna be an absolute pleasure to throw his butt in prison. Yeah. Find anything else? Make sure you send him to the to the frickin' lock. That place is great. According to this, you have a mole feeding supplies to Jasmine Durand. Yeah, you're right. But there's no way this was a solo job. Shifting all those parts takes serious manpower. I'll send this to Mast so they can shake the tree a bit, see what falls out. Looks like Durand better start looking for parts somewhere else. Oh, don't Any change it. Parts? Not while I'm still undercover, you idiot. Uh, here's everything I have on Shinya Voss. The Voss engineered a way to directly interface with the key's mainframe? I knew he was a math genius, but didn't realize he was so tech savvy. Well, we'll share this information with Galbank. Hopefully it'll help them shore up the security... I, again, the not while I'm undercover, please. Have, have some information about the murder of Madeline Leroux. We were aware that Miss LaRue was involved with Fergus Wickham. When her body was recovered, Sis Def assumed he was the culprit. Sounds like we had it wrong. Should have pinned the murder on this Clay Dietrich perp. Well, we'll have to clear that up. Nice find. Anything else? I've discovered some interesting information about Radley Jasso. So, Mr. Yasso is actually Lionel Soto. We thought Soto was dead. At least, that's what the records told us. I'll have the records updated, but seeing as Mr. Yasso has surrounded himself with the Crimson Fleet, there isn't much we can do. Yet. That it? That's all I have for now. All right. Keep up the good work. Feel like discussing your personal experience with the Crimson Fleet? Why hold prisoners aboard the Vigilance when you could send them directly to prison? Do you know where the Comm Spike is being developed? Um... Will I have access to any SysDef resources while undercover? What other background information can be on the fleet? I already care. I don't think she's going to tell me anything about the comm spike. That information is classified, so even what I do know, I can't divulge. Yeah. Now, Boo. I realize as part of this mission, you'll probably end up finding out anyway, but that's besides the point. For the sake of your cover, it's best you work with whatever information the fleet gives you. Okay, bye. Let me know if you need anything else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice work. Uh, Zarim, thank you for the sub, dude. Amazing. Uh, why is that so... I can't actually see the... I can't actually see the freaking information. 14 months, dude. Awesome. Thank you very much. Sorry, I just had to resize some windows there so I can actually see that number. There we go. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven months. Sorry. Apologies. Thank you, Sam. Either way. Appreciate you, dude. Things are getting a little spicy. I'm still hoping that I can play the uh, Sis Def and the Crimson Fleet against each other and basically just come out with a crap load of money, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to wait and see how this all turns out. While they're fighting... I could be looting the legacy, assuming that we can actually get anywhere near it, of course. And it's not just a big old red herring. That's a lot of credits. That was a decent amount of credits, wasn't it? 2,000 credits for each bit of information I handed over there. I got a total of 120,000 now, pretty much. So, we've done well. We've done well. Okay. So, uh, return to Bog at the key. Meet Nava and Jasmine on the key. And, of course, the search for evidence is an ongoing thing. Right, should we give this a little rest for a while and go do some powers? All that money can blah, blah. And we got power on Mir 2, and we got a power on 
Nebas. So, um, see if we can find Nebas. No comment, lol. Yeah, 120,000 isn't a great deal. Um, what? Why is it still taking us to Crix? No, 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 no. Nebas. Nebas. Yeah, okay, that's... Alright, we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way then. Set course. Set course to Nebas? Yes. Oh, wait. Wait, it's... Not, it's... Fair enough. <laughs> Back at Crix. <laughs> Here we go. Scanner anomaly. Here we go. I haven't got any of the um I may hey, Arja might be on board actually. I could take her with me. What elements of Imperium do you wish this game had? I would like fast cross country, like I hate to say the motorcycle on the planet were flying. Yeah, I wish this had like a hoverboard or something, you know? Oh, your Nebas belong to us. Nebas! Right, let's see if I can find Arja. She'll be around here somewhere. There's Danny. For a chat? No, definitely not. Danny, hey. Yes, yes, you need me. Are you ready to head back out? Finally, I've been waiting. Sorry. Let's go. Active companion. Hang on, let me just double check. My inventory is not like crazy overloaded. It is quite overloaded. What have I got that I don't need to have on me right now? The rapid AA. Fairness. Um, damn, I was just... My tell me didn't look so... Odd. Right, I don't need to be persuading anyone, so let's equip the striker mask wear and we'll uh do that. Got eleven shrapnel grenades on me. I don't know when I'm gonna ever use that apart from on a boss fight, but I don't wanna like ditch it, but uh here we go. These two I probably need at some point. But we can ditch that for now. Maddie's ring is a quest item. Alright. I'm as light as I can be. I just think all the weapons and stuff that I've got on me are just particularly heavy. Alright, let's move out. They do need to add to the number of POIs that get repetitive, do they? Pleasant to see you. Guess that's where we're going. There are anomalies everywhere. That's weird. Anomaly there, and anomaly no, 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 there. But the 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 distortions over there. Uranium, huh? I don't need any uranium right now. Yep, that way. Uh, I kind of, I get why they've done the shipbuilding the way they have with the modules and stuff like that. Because if they did block building and stuff, it would be, it would be a very different game. The thing is with like shipbuilding and stuff is that there's there's only a certain percentage of players that will actually bother doing intricate shipbuilding. And that percentage is actually quite low among the gaming community. If you look at games like uh Starbase, Dual Universe, hell, even Imperion and Space Engineers, uh, and you actually have a look at the number of people that actually spend the time to use the build tools to build some intricate and good looking ships. It's tiny. It's a fraction of the actual player base. So um, 
the thing with like having modules and stuff like that i totally understand why they've done it although as a builder i wish they had more options and more um, flexibility in those modules so i could build what i wanted i i totally understand from a uh from a uh Um, a publisher point of view why they've done it the way they have and it's not bad it's not a bad decision that they've done it works nicely pretty much you use some refinement in the controls and whatnot but uh, overall it works fine so I don't necessarily wish that the building was like Imperion like block by block because I think it would make it quite a different game obviously if they had Imperial style building and this level of content and story missions, it would be freaking epic. For me, I'd be absolutely all over it. But I really wish they have Steam Workshop support for builds, and so you could actually build the ship. Like, I built that ship back there, the Calypso. I'd share that on the Steam Workshop. And, I, and hopefully, they'll bring Steam Workshop support eventually. And at some point, you'll be able to build a ship and then share it on the Workshop people could sub it on the workshop and then import it into the shipbuilder. Because those that are not interested in shipbuilding and the finer detail and stuff like that, you know, can just be like, oh, that's cool, I'm going to rock around in that. For now, everyone's ships are their own, you know? The powers are just sci-fi Dragonborn, yeah, pretty much. Space Rim. Temple Beta! All right, let's see what new power we get here. Honestly, I love the game, but it's like a hodgepodge of everything they've already done mechanics-wise. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of signature Bethesda stuff. You, it's callbacks to Skyrim and Fallout all over the place. But you got to remember, you know, they do have shipbuilding customizations as well. Base and ground travel, although it's heavily instanced. Uh, for, for, you know, Bethesda reasons. Alright, we're looking for the little squiggles. They don't really get this kind of whole thing. But we'll go along with it. I don't know. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, damn it. Uh. I'm voluntarily doing this to myself. <laughs> it's like knowledge of the universe, isn't it? Lung damage gained. <laughs> Great power. Gravity wave. All right. Sweet. Gravity wave. What does gravity wave do? Emit a gravitational force strong enough to propel almost anything or anyone. That sounds great. Oof. I've got a lot of problems. I've got a cough. And... Oh, poor air quality, extreme solar radiation, and it cold. Wow, my spacesuit sucks. Let's go. Jedi force push, yeah. All right, where's... where's where is she? Oh, she'll teleport along soon. And, uh, I'm sure she's fine. I wanted to test my ability on her. <laughs> I don't think it works on allies, though, does it? Fusroda, yeah, literally Fusroda. Seems like a badass hit trip. Seems like a very 
specific acid trip, you know, stars and shit. Grab we road ah! <laughs> Yeah, it does. It is that. Yoink. And so let's see what it does. Well he kind of fell backwards. Alright, calm down. Oh, she threw a grenade at him. I put the poor beast down before you start freaking throwing more grenades. Are you gonna do do it to anyone? Do it to this guy over here, right? Hang on, man. Ooh. Just going in with a knife, what an absolute boss. That thing's still alive. Seal it. Nice. Alright, let's get out of it, because apparently I'm dying. This gun's quite good. I gotta give it to this gun, it's quite good. I don't mind this gun. I like this gun. Right, uh. <clears throat> Unlocks all. It's interesting that the skills are maybe random. I think that I got gravity as my first skill. Are they specific to the temple? Hmm. Does she have a gun? She might actually just have a knife. Grenades and knives. <laughs> the quality combination. Okay. Um, boost injector. There we go. That should. Do all the lung damage. Done. There we go. We're good. Let's get out of here. It's one power. Give her the grenade launcher, she has the ability for it. But it's my grenade launcher! Take your command and know that sometimes four legendary, legendary guns would disarm them. Oh. I, gave, I think I gave her a legendary um, grenade launcher. Uh, gr knife. Got my head now, haven't it? Uh, right. Acquire the power from Mir 2. That course. Oh yeah, we can jump that too. Let's go. We can go. I keep getting dragged into side quests, so I haven't got this far in the main game yet. Yeah, that's that's just that's me all over. That is. Scanner anomaly. Check it out. Extreme environment again, so. Yep. Let's keep an eye out for a hazmat suit. I've, I've passed loads of them. I didn't realize they had such good protection, but. Stupidly. You thought a space suit would offer some pretty freaking good protection against airborne anomalies, but. There we are. Oh, the temple's right there. Look at that. <laughs> Noise. There may not be life here, but we should... Hey, zoom, zoom. Oh, we should have checked out those other anomalies. There's anomalies all around here. I don't know if they mean anything, though. Good place for an aluminium mine. I like the gravity on this moon. It means I can fly for ages. Wow. What the hell? I've never seen this before. These look like... This looks creepy AF. 
I think this is like lava. Wow, the lava is like exploded from the ground and then and then dried up. Almost like that. They look like trees. The frick is the door? It's cool. Even that, it's very cool. Aha! This looks like the solar flare one. Temple Alpha. Son of a bitch. Ember Alpha has one of the better powers, personal atmosphere, which lets you move well encumbered without losing O2. Nice. That sounds cool. I mean, it just boots me out, dude. Personal atmosphere. Bingo. Nice. That's cool. Oxygen pure and clean. Brought forth to breathe deep and can counteract harmful carbon dioxide. Wish. Right, talk to the lad. Get back to the ship. Oh, if it's at my bubble reset. Right. So we got to talk to Vlad, talk to Walter as the next ones on those ones. And yeah, I don't know if we've got a Let's talk to Walter. Let's get another one of those. I think we should probably return back to um, Neon as well and continue this at some point. Let's go. Klepto power activate. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much the way I see it, Billy. Just like, hmm, not encumbered anymore, hey? Well, well, well. That is fancy. To the lodge. Been a while. Nothing else. Constellation does have excellent lodging. It does. It does. It does. You don't think I can do it? You have no artifacts. Right. Hey, Walter. You reconsider my offer. Ready to set off? Let's go. To the Volai star system, then. The Volai, huh? I admit I'm a little neon. Excited. What are you two getting all well, uppity okay. about? Fine. Let's see what he says. Hey, you have a second? Sam and I were just having a uh, discussion, Argument. and I wanted someone else's input. I yes, your hat is stupid. You and I have now both been cornered, but sure. I'd like to, you know, get in shape, do some working out. <laughs> so I asked Vladimir for some tips, and he basically said weightlifting was a bad idea. Are you sure that's what he said, or is it just what you heard? Anyway, so I wanted to get Sam's opinion on it, and he pretty much said the same thing. 
Okay, uh, since now you've been fully roped into this, let's all just take a step back. I had simply pointed out that if you take a look at Mateo, weightlifting isn't necessarily the first thing that comes to mind. <laughs> I was wondering whether there might be a better option for him and just sort of musing in general about the idea of sticking to things you're inclined to versus going out and trying something completely new. Well, what's your take on it? You think it's better to stick to what you know or to take any opportunity to try something that's maybe outside your comfort zone? Nice, Ghost Dragon. Cool. But I think the safe choice is the best one. You'll never get anywhere if you don't take risks. Yeah. Oh, we all talk about weightlifting here or something else. <laughs> well, now I'm just talking more generally. Philosophically, if you will. Uh, you'll never get anywhere if you don't take risks. Well, there you have it. That's what I've been saying! Anyway, thanks. I think I'm going to try it. And don't worry, I'll be sure and ask Vladimir for pointers. Hey, we'll support you no matter what. Just don't want to see you get hurt is all. Yeah, I know. Thanks. <gasps> Maybe. A sacred unbitten sandwich. Yeah. Yes! We'll talk about that. It actually happened! <laughs> Why is that guy wearing his box of briefs on his head? I I know I don't know. I don't know. I I, I don't know. I, I just yeah. No idea. Travel to Neon I only can't travel to my ship from here though. Where the hell's the spaceport district? I thought it was over there. Wow. Do you see anything useful? No, not really. I wanted to fast travel back to the ship, but I guess we're just going to have to do it the old fashioned way. And fast travel to Neon. We. I mean, we've been to Neon. We don't need to travel to Neon. Land at Neon. How did Barrett not get roped into that conversation instead of us, right? He was right there. The crippling skill causes enemies to be downed faster. Hmm. Welcome back to Neon, guys. I do like Neon. It's a hellhole, but it's my kind of hellhole, you know? All right, Walter's over there. Now, we do have a skill point. We have a skill point. And we could go into pick a pocketing. We didn't need that, but we could rank up Persuasion, which is very useful. But I know that we need to go down Science in order to get to things like um, the, you know, these bits. Uh, planetary Habitation and Battlefield Engineering and yada, 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 yada. But we do also need to go down here in order to get Automated Weapon Systems. We do want turrets. And to get that unlocked, we need to spend three more points here. So we can unlock pilots. Now we got uh, 15 more kills, ship kills to do. 20 more locks to pick. Boost pack training, I don't really care. Targeting control systems. Time to lock onto enemy ships is reduced. Shield systems. 40% increase the shield capacity. Payloads. 10% more, more carrier carrying capacity on the ship. Engine boosts, energy systems do 20% increased damage and cost 30% less to use in targeting mode. I mean, we've got to spend some points somewhere, I guess. Um, there's weapon engineering, suits design, research and craft, superior spacesuit, helmet and pack mods. Geology, medicine, astrodynamics, botany, astrophysics, chemistry, outpost engineering. I'll spend three more skills there to do that. Um, persuasion, you reckon, Brian? Yeah. Outpost management. Ship design and piloting to unlock ship classes and modules, but up to you. Yeah, that's what I want. It says ship design is down here. Oh, wait. 
I can unlock that. I can finally unlock stuff. I didn't even realize I could unlock it yet. I thought it was still locked. Holy crap. Allows the installation of improved ship modules. Car culture on Earth centuries ago. Those who apply themselves in the ability to modify their own spaceships. Yes. Install five unique ship modules. Well, well, well. That. I Thank you, Anarchist, for pointing that out. I didn't even realize it was unlocked. I thought I still had a ways to go on that one. Hey, here's Walter. Smell that? Construction. Incense. Industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm mass. It's the smell of desperation, exploitation, and addiction. Quite true, but also opportunity. Our opportunity. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekman offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. All right. Hmm. I'm wondering if you're the best person to take on this mission. Or maybe Danny might be better. Danny's got chemistry. Stealth, particle beams, and theft. Hmm. Screw it, you'll be fine. Let's go. It's neon theft might come in useful. Hey, it's Quack. <laughs> T3 books, whoop. It's a huge difference when you can pilot higher class ships and unlock better modules. Security cares far more about what you take with you when you leave Neon than what he ever to make this place livable is astounding. There's no end to what can be accomplished when there are credits to be made. Actually, I was right to take you along. You got the right amount of skepticism and pessimism for me. Sensory overload. <laughs> That's how they get you. Sensory overload. They bamboozle you with the light show. You, but I am starting to suspect that Benjamin Bayou has a clearly the intent is to get us into the astral lounge. Shall we follow the signs? No. We got work to do. By the way, the reward for the Ryzen in Neon gives you one incredibly useful tech. I won't say more. His ships are very high quality. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. You know, Mr. Stroud, you are so lucky. What? Walter. <laughs> Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Uh, sorry, I was reading in chat. Could you repeat that? <laughs> Damn, Mrs. Eklund, I envy you and your partner's success. We're here on Constellation. Neon Street, I know who you are and how many people work for you in... You're next to nothing. Ooh, that's a bit aggravating. Um, let's 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 do the charmed thing, shall we? Oh, aren't you lovely? Yes, I am lovely. Walter, Walter, where did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes, the daring explorers. My partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, 
I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Um, I am 100% behind embarrassing Walter Moore. Yes. <laughs> really don't need to hear your intimate details, really. Uh, what's this about a speech? Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, let's embarrass him some more. I know. It's my favorite hobby. <laughs> now, why are you here, my dear? The board meeting isn't for a while, and our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, <laughs> can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? The Astro Lounge, public plays, lot of security holes. Exactly. You can see how removed my husband is from the groundwork if he's overlooked something so obvious. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for some nice, James. Laws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. Investigate the cellar. Ace the Astral Lounge. Got it. So I'm about to do all the work while you stay. <laughs> Obviously. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. Mm. James Newell is the broker who knows our cellar. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Oh, I do I love operation funds. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. I grew up here. It's fine. I know how to negotiate Neon. It usually involves one of these. But, uh... Yeah, let's have a look at your gear. You need something? <laughs> I, I think I just gave you a knife. Right. She's got grenades. Yeah. Uh, some heavy particle fuses. And a knife. Okay, then. We need to give you something um, a little bit better than the knife, don't we? How about you get... Hmm... Well, yeah, you can have that one. Yeah, 7.7 .7 mil. You can have that one, and I'll give you some 7.7 .7 as well to go with it. You don't need many, because basically you just have infinite once I give you a little bit. And... Equip that. There we go. I missed that you. might be better. Mm -hmm. You're still so tense. Goodbye. Normally, once we're alone, your shoulders relax. They're... <laughs> Moving on! <laughs> They're taught. Alright. Uh, wait, what? Ask a, Investigate the cellar. Ask about security. Yes. I'm guessing that's investigate the cellar because that's the astral lounge. Let's go and ask about security because that's further away. Serious cyberpunk vibes down here. I see Neo. Neon feels like the most alive city so far. Hi, James. Welcome to Newell's. You set up a meeting with Walter Stroud recently. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Let's say you did. <laughs> Information isn't usually free. Uh -huh. He needs four persuading. We already got paid for connecting the seller to Walter. We're not paying twice. We can go straight for a four. I haven't taken any drugs, so... and I haven't got my suit on either. Let's try our luck. New Ech. intel, new transaction. Take it or leave it. Mm-hmm. 
Don't duck my questions. I know the seller came through you. Neon Street Rat. I grew up on these streets. Knew it. I'm finding him one way or another. Always better to stay on the right side of a Neon Street Rat, huh? I'm asking on behalf of what was tried. I'm sure he can pay you? Bingo. I guess maybe I can add this to his tab. Okay. I don't know much. But I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. Nice. Okay. And I can already open sleep crates for a thousand credits. I get upset. But Administrator Bay, you came behind while you were out. Oh, yeah? His Majesty decided to come down from his throne and walk amongst us peasants? What did he want? He said he wanted to personally thank us for our contributions to the city and hopes for our continued support. Our contributions? Those taxes we pay are a sham, so he can line his ivory trade tower with another layer of gold. It makes me sick. Somebody ain't happy. Risk it for the four. Yeah. Kind of backfired a bit there, didn't it? Taking uh, Andreja on a date as a cover up story. Why not? Sounds a good opportunity to me. All right, what have we got down here? Oh, yeah, we got to go to the sleep crate. Sorry, I almost forgot. Get out of my way, you lot. If you're wondering what that smell is. Ebb side. Are there any body mods for female characters or better looking hairstyles? Yep. Yeah, but you want to tread carefully around body mods for female characters there. Well, I mean, it's up to you. It's your game. <laughs> But, uh, personally, I didn't want every female character in the game walking around naked, so just felt like a little unimmersive to me. Can I just hack this? I guess so. Alright. Put these two then. And... That one over there. And also, I wouldn't be able to stream, you know. <laughs> That's another reason. You Where do you get your mod? Before we are discovered. Nexus. Personal correspondence one. The Musgrove, you might not be aware there's a certain item that your employer has that others have taken an interest in. Now, I know you're gainfully employed, but what's the harm in little chat? Besides, I have some information about your career that, well, I wouldn't want to know if I were you. I'm not joking, friend. Expect that termination notice to arrive soon. You need to think about your future and the precious few days you have left before they deactivate your security clearance. Per our discussion, you need to move that item as quickly as possible. Assume you are being watched. It's only a matter of time before they come for you. Okay. Okay. Go. Wait. Gal bank statement. Please be advised that your current pay cycle will once again leave you with a near zero balance in your account. Uh, termination notice. Due to changing priorities within the organization, your role within the Slate and Aerospace has been made redundant. Please clean out any personal items and inform anyone who needs to know about your imminent departure by the end of the day. Thank you for over a decade of service and trust that, your, that our long-standing relationship will keep this transition free of unpleasant incident. Whew. Now that's cold. Ten years. Yeah, thank you, Jimmy. It only took them two days to put out the nude mods, yeah. <laughs> well, at the end of the day, they don't have a lot of work to do because it's basically Fallout. It's, it's the same code. It's all, all the same bloody code and the same uh, inner workings as Fallout and Skyrim. So, little tweak, copy and paste, job done. <laughs> the most downloaded one was fix the, the flat asses. 
Well, I've never been in the Astral Lands before, but I'm already regretting my decision to be here. What the actual F is going on in the middle? You're new here, aren't you? Mm. Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Uh, I don't do chems. I'm definitely here to try the Aurora. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are for street gangs and junkies. Aurora is on an entirely different level. Sure. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. <laughs> Only problem is that won't fit on the package. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? Yes, you can. I have a meeting here later. Worried about security. Bunch of penthouse. We created the music. Who created the music? What can you tell me about Bayer? I want to. I want to talk about choice. penthouse. The Sky Suite offers luxury and sophistication you won't find anywhere else in the settled systems. And since you'll be living in the same tower as the Astral Lounge, all of its pleasures and pageantry are only an elevator away. When wait, two hundred thirty-five thousand for a penthouse? Wow! I don't have that much. How unfortunate, <laughs> but I will be here should you change your mind. Uh, I have a meeting here. The Astral Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is handpicked from the finest officers in the city. Sure, 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 sure. Well, this whole hard sell stuff is really wearing me out. They needed security to be on my side and fight broke out. They needed to control the, of the doors, prevent someone from walking out. I'm afraid that would be a serious fire hazard. And I think it's only fair to warn you that the network security on our doors is state of the art. All right. Say if I need a security to be on my side. You'd be interested in the Astral Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. Four thousand. That fee seems a little high. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. You, if you 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 lower the fee, I'll be sure to stop by the Astro Lounge every chance I get. Walter Stroud is coming personally. Surely that's enough to have high security on hand. I mean, that's a compelling argument to me, but it's six, so it seems a bit unnecessary. Uh, who knows how long it'll be before you get another offer? Gonna, well, surely, uh, right? Let's go for the two here. Surely, a business like. Stroud Eklund already has VIP status. Not Bailed. Currently, I'm afraid, unless you'd like to purchase it on their behalf. That's who's this woman? <laughs> okay, um, we'll try for the four, because one on nothing, I guess. But I think it's just going to fail as well. Ah, oh, win. Boss leader, I make you pay less now in the hopes you'll pay more over time. Hmm. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you. If Jokes on him, I'm never coming back here ever again. 1,000, that's better. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Come back soon. Yeah. Check the door controls. Yes, what? Beds are candy in this game. The neon penthouse is a joke. Much better options. Ah, oh, man. We'll get one for free eventually. Ah, oh, man. That's cool, though. Cool, though. I'll take it. Wait, right, right. how the hell do we get there? What is... What is this room? <laughs> are we up? Oh, we're above. Oh, I see. Uh, okay, I get it. Look at the little astral sliders. They look delicious. I might have one of those. I'm hungry now. <laughs> I kind of want a burger for dinner. He's staring. Booth. Booths? Booths? VIP booths. Unlock novice. I could probably unlock that. 
There's a VIP booth. Wow, this is what we paid for. This blows. I think I should hack into this one in case there's someone in there. I hope you're avoiding spoilers like the rest of us who haven't started playing yet. I'm trying my best. Well, I mean, I'm, I've doing some of the main story, but I don't really see any of it as spoilers, to be honest, so far. I guess towards the end, then there might be a bit of spoiler territory back there, but... Hang on, which two... I'm going to have to work backwards on this one then, I think. That one definitely works there. That's one, two, three... So, those two are the last two. It can't be. It's this one. Wait. Did I do? These two are the last one. These ones go in. I'm confusing myself. Middle two are the last ones. God, the novice ones seem to throw me way more than the actual... The, the expert ones. Oh. Oh. Melon, melon caviar. Value a thousand small balls and melon stuff with local caviar and neon delicacy. We're gonna have to go to the trade authority after this, I tell you. <laughs> Bad to be sure to save before you go to meeting, it can go very sideways. Sure, it can. Private reserve. All right, let's have a look at this. Right, I think this one goes in the first then. Um, there and... How does that work? Like that. Remote door control. Adding user. Wheat. The stream has been blocked by DC boom organ rescheduling. Wish. Okay, okay. More wine. All of this stuff is valuable. Alright, let's get out of it. Let's do a quick cheeky F5. I think I got them. What do you call them? Corns? Yeah, I got corns. What? <laughs> hey, Andreas. How you doing, buddy? Happy Friday to you, too. Yeah, yeah, we talked about uh, cleaning stuff earlier. All right, let's go do that now. Uh, do you get more if they're not stolen then, basically? We take them to the trade authority, sell them all there, buy them all back, and then go and sell them to, I don't know, like uh, Yannick here or something. We get more. I gotta remember where the uh, trade authority is now. I think they're over here. Look at the credits you currently have versus the amount of quest selling you have actively done. Just two, three investments in the commerce perk and you pretty much have enough to do all shop items. Ah, there they are. 
Alright, hi. Yeah, what? Do some business. Let's do some business. Alright, misc. No, it would be resources. Sell. Uh aid, sorry. As well. All right, have we got anything else? Yeah, I don't really care about the ammo. All right, bye back. All right, get out of it. Tell back is to equal value and versus the comma commerce to sell amount. All right, what's up? Busy area. All right, so let's go to the Yannick. Enhance. <laughs> uh, Yannick's in here. You didn't hear this one. Oh wait, this is Neon Security. Where the hell is Nyanic? Uh, never mind. <laughs> okay, where he is now. Is he the other end? He might be the other end. I forgot where he is. Security? I'd like to report it. Yeah. The Grands. Here we go. And crazy your ships could kill easily if you do fight training quests. Yeah, the Vanguard. Hey, keep your nose Just clean. Another Last thing I want day. is to charge I've you got for plenty in stock. Uh, I'm here to sell you some, mate. Private reserve. Wow. Value dropped suddenly, didn't it? Really crap. 55? The value of that in, in the hotel was like 300 something, wasn't it? Wasn't it? <sighs> yeah, well, it seems like I'm not making any money off of this stuff, right? Damn. Bay is private reserve. I want to keep bugs, grog, melon, caviar. Um. And he won't buy the uh, exotic bottles from me. But at least then we wouldn't have to worry about the DLP. Did you get the contraband out of Neon Security? Uh, no. Let's see if you'll buy it over here. Need something? If you have a moment, no problem. I'm sure you'll find something you like. Exotic bottles, 96 each. They really do you over, don't they? You really know how to... Junk flush. You're all addictions. <laughs> I'm not going to be addicted to anything, so... Make it go away. Uh, plus 30, 0, 02 for 3 minutes, 300 damage resistance. That sounds quite good. CVQ. Frost Wolf. 40% damage. 50 move movement. But minus 50% movement noise. Ah. There's some good good perks in all these things. Um, I'll go talk to Seeker. I'll go to see if we can talk sense into him. I think there's a side quest here I can get, oh. isn't there? Okay. Yeah. That'd be extremely helpful. <laughs> I honestly don't know what to say. I'm not doing this for free. I'm a businessman. You help me with this, and I have no problem compensating you for your time. Thank you. Just be careful when you're dealing with Siegert. He can be surprisingly unreasonable when he's cornered. Thanks for stopping by our shop. No worries. All right, let's go. Um, so there's contraband in the corner of the security, is there? I need that chameleon helmet. They turn invisible. I assume there's quite a lot of it then. Have 
My mother yeah, I tried that, uh, Panic. It's not possible. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wink. Detected, detected, detected. Hidden. Yay. <laughs> detected. Damn it. Detected, 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 detected. Hidden, hidden. I suppose that is ours now, eh? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. This is how it works around here, right? Question it. It's uh, it's fine. Don't know if I'm doing this the right way around, but we'll soon find out. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> There's nothing in it. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that sucks. Definitely didn't steal all this shit. Okay, bye. Is there anything else to steal around here? <gasps> yeah, there is. Pacifier. <gasps> Bashing boosted Orion. You want to maybe turn around? Maybe, maybe look over there for a second. Ah, oh, fine. Oil sport. Stuff with that boost pack. Got you... traffic as it is. I'm not gonna say this twice. Get the hell away from me. <laughs> um Andrea. You're missing something. <laughs> and screenshot. <laughs> oh bless you yeah you've definitely had a little bit of an accident there with your <laughs> um let's go is that the chest your stolen goods would be in if you were arrested uh probably probably and that's why there was nothing in it no head sponge but you get the rest any luck out there? I suppose if it gets to that that point, I'll take it. Um, I found out the seller is pretty desperate. Should give us an edge. Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. And F5. Let's go. You guys are gonna have to wait for the next elevator. I'm, 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 I'm leaving. Leave him. Gotta call someone's power kept going out. How did you get in here before me? All right, we're here. Now, I don't know what the cellar looks like. But they'll have a security briefcase with them. Larger than normal. Big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. The scientists who discovered neon gas. Are they? <laughs> okay, got it. Code phrases? <laughs> Under different circumstances, Walter, I think you might have made an adequate smuggler. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. All right, we're looking for an enormous case. Is she in the size of these artifacts? The music's all right. Just need a minute. I think that last drink was stronger than I thought. That's yeah, what you said. Excuse me? What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? 
Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. That was easy. Come on, dance! You're crazy! I just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. One step closer. You owe me all the money when this is over. <laughs> He seems even cagey to me, even angry even. It's not surprising. This is a deal over stolen property, after all. Anything could go wrong. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice <laughs> this guy. we agree <laughs> That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that ship in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands. And we're not dead. How does that sound? I'm keeping my hand close to my weapon for this. Let's just try it my way first, hmm? Remember that man is selling the artifact for a reason. He might be nefarious, but he might just be desperate. If everyone walks away with what they want, I'll call it a success. You good? Let's go. Seems like the Crimson Fleet is everywhere these days. Yeah, you you don't know the half of it. <laughs> Crimson Fleet is definitely everywhere. So you Stroud. You look Again, how did he get ahead of me? Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photo. I can't do anything. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite, almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. We close this door. Anyway, everybody, gotta do the old. Uh... Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now, how am I supposed to do that? I don't know. But your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? <laughs> Grab the artifact. Remote trigger the door closed. <laughs> Be reasonable. We can't just come up. Stop bluffing. We know you need to sell quickly. Hmm. You're a little bit hardball. Oh, really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just set on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. No, you won't. You still need the money. Don't be rash. We can still make this work. Uh, flip flop and go nice guy or stay bad guy? Uh, hardball. Thing is, he might get a little bit testy. I'll flip flop. I'm not hearing here's the money. I'm on a tight timetable. And we would have wrapped up already if you hadn't gotten greedy. Our original offer stands. Now, what's it going to be? Uh, I... You might have wanted more, but this is still a good deal. Do the smart thing. Take the money. Fine. This thing... 
is all yours. Nice. Some high pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home, shall we? I think he's broken, Walter. I think he's broken. I think we I think we broke him. Oh. Broke my leg as well. <laughs> you gotta love Bethesda NPCs. They're so freaking random. Oh my god, it's fantastic, isn't it? It's so majestically you just <laughs> bug free. <laughs> it's a Stop perfectly right Oh my god. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. Don't do this. Don't die just to get a rock back. Signal Neon Security. Security, we're being harassed. Oh. We did get the VIP suite for a reason. Let's do it. Is there a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Slayton is a man of considerable resources. Hmm. Sending armed men into the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. So we're just send Andrea after her. She'll freak them out with her freaking missing head. Your time in the Astral Lounge. It's been great. Thank you very much for your service, Miss Security Lady Person. Dude person, not not dude person. <laughs> He's looking for a bottle of wine to steal for some reason he can't find one. <laughs> yeah. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the My ship! Point. No! There goes our way out. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. It's tedious. Uh, we need to get Slayton off our backs. So much for this being easy, Walter. Who's this Nicholas Slayton anyway? Yes, yes, I'm fully aware this has not gone according to plan. <laughs> Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. <laughs> Longest test flight of the morning. Yeah, right. Done well. Do you know what? We haven't done a single bit of space combat. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to be testing the new ship, and there's not been one freaking base engagement. I've flown around a bit. Well, I even fired the weapons once. So much for that plan, isn't it? It's always difficult coming up for titles for, for streams. I've only just come up with a title saying, playing Starfield, you know. It's like, wow, okay. But you never know how these things are going to go, especially in Starfield, where you you set out with one intention, and end up doing 15 other things differently. Oh my god, are these guys going to attack me? These guys look ag, man. Hi. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're part of my ship. You're all dead. <laughs> yeah. Persuade. I need to make an appointment with Nicholas Slayton. I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Yes, and he's got my ship. So, industrialist, I have an exciting business opportunity to discuss with Mr. Slayton. Failed. I'm sure you do. <laughs> I'm sure you do. You can't have just anyone going through. I get it. Must be hard for you to say no all the time. Believe me, Slayton is expecting me. I'm getting tired of asking. You need to let me in there now. Yeah, she's surrounded by security. I don't think threatening is going to be um, good. Let's try one more. I've got an auto-persuade, so... Let's try number four. Oh, nice. There does seem to be a hole in his schedule. Hmm. I won't need to take up much of your time. 
We've just had a misunderstanding. I'll try it because I'd like to keep my auto persuade. Presumably to talk to Slayton. Bingo. Maybe I yes. Squeeze you in. Let me see. Thanks. I love a bit of squeezing. I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. Thank you very much. You've got lovely eyes, by the way. Moving on. Hoping to get a meeting. <laughs> I've been waiting here all day. <laughs> I don't have any cheer enough. I can just look at that. That's just fantastic. All right, let's go see this jerk. Wait, this clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. He's on to us. Walter, uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into I didn't break office. into an office. A bold move, but one easily countered. This guy has got paranoia level 3000. Trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Yes, sir. Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. Nice. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm an elevator person now. I built my kingdom here. <laughs> well, yes! If my wife and I could gallantly offer your majesty a rescue from such <laughs> let's go. I'm an elevator person now. I love it. One. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Oh, okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in. I got you. Let's go. These are massive vents. That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. Gotcha. Jump down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. Yoink. Hmm, okay. Knifey, knifey, knifey. Stay by me. Wait, what? Are you two coming? Maybe not. This doesn't seem right. Well, security is on full alert. No point slipping through unnoticed now. In my defense, your guidance was garbage. Close the door, close the door, close the door. Crap, this doesn't close anymore, does it? Was I? Ah, Christ, I was supposed to go up here. I didn't even see this. Balls. My bad. Why are there gross noises coming from here? Gross noises. Ugh. Does this freeze time? I guess so. <laughs> oh, boy. This guy is really getting on my wick right now. I have no idea how he just exploded, but I'm going to go with my helmet did it. Stealing credits. Oh, that's going to hurt in the morning. Don't do it. Don't do it. This has gone all kinds of sideways. Sideways. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, there you are. Crap, why is my vision on blurry? Yeah. Nice. There was no other way for the win. This once nice, peaceful offices, huh? People just came here to work. I just wanted to leave. But no, you gotta get all oh, shooty shooty on my face, huh? It didn't have to be like this. We could have been friends. Don't do it, don't do it. That ain't boy. Always worth checking. In their pockets. Ow! I cannot wait to Why have they got giant rocks in here? What the hell are these guys doing? There's the door. It should take you outside. <laughs> oh shit! I maybe shouldn't have shot him. I don't think. I don't think. There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Wait. Well, what's up to you? Looting. All right, let's go. Why not use your powers? Oh yeah, I do have powers. You're right. Yeah, I always forget I have powers. It's um, it doesn't just it just doesn't occur to me that I have them. <laughs> I always forget. I was the same in Skyrim to be honest. I barely used my powers in Skyrim, but then you know I was a sneaky archer build. You barely had to do anything. Um, wait, right, where's my maelstrom? There it is. Take your best shot. One down. I'm moving. Fire. My eyes. Hear me. Come on, Walter. Let's go. This must be you in full stealth mode. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Though the personal atmosphere allows you to refill your oxygen when you are high in carbon dioxide, so I tend to grab everything and then dump it all on my ships. Nice. Yeah, it's good. Super loot ability, isn't it? But where's the marker? There. Doesn't look like a door. I don't think it's this way, then. Not to point that thing at me. Pointing at you. You're fine, don't worry about it. Here we go. It's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Pull off your guards and release my ship. You have what's mine. I indirectly. Have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. 
Although, I do count a few more guns on my side. You and Walter are business people. Some arrangements can be made. I wouldn't trust your mercs. They haven't stopped us so far. <laughs> you do make a bold point, but that doesn't resolve our current dilemma. Perhaps I can help. We're both people of business, Nicholas. In the same industry, no less. Yes, I'm beginning to see the opportunity. He has grenades, Tazguy. There is, however, one final detail to disclose. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think... It would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. Decide as in we could let him go? He's a thief. Let the authorities deal with him. Clearly you want him dead. <laughs> I yield to your judgment. You've more than proven yourself capable of resisting any course of action I attempt to dictate to you. That seems a bit extreme for the circumstances. Yeah. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. Just let him go. No sense in more violence. Oh, I agree. We have an opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably would. Oh, you do not like that you're in good shape. I... Oh. Why can't I talk to him? Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Here we are again. The poor judging the poor. That's my neon street rat ability. Uh, well, option. He wants me to decide what to do with you. Why did you steal the artifact? I want the whole story. Where's my? Where's the money, Musgrove? Let's go with the unique one. Same old song, huh? You know how this works. Just make up your mind. I don't need to tell you this. But we don't need to kill him. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all. And we got what we wanted. We're letting you go. Add a neon while you can. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm letting him go, man. I... Thank you. Use this opportunity to alter the trajectory of your life. You may not receive another chance. He's got a head back. A rare moment <laughs> of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. The guy got effed over. He got made redundant. Let's talk more back at the ship. He took something, like you know, kind of uh, as payback, and then he got busted for it after he sold it to us. And to be honest. Ooh, eclectic power pack, three thousand credits, strong pack, palladium and nickel. Maybe trying to take a little too much on, literally. Yeah, maybe. Um, expert. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Uh, obviously, the one will work. That and a one. First row. Down. This one will work. And is there a two that would work with that? No, there isn't. Damn. Okay. Um, leaves us with another one. We have another one. But only one more one. That one and possibly that one. Not quite. And I'm a bitch. No. 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 Uh, yes. Bingo. Nailed it. Black market antiques. And valued and heretic writing. Damn. Didn't realize he would be born into that stuff. All right. Stole all your shit. Bye. Nice golden toilet. <laughs> 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 Stealing penicillin. <laughs> no, Stealing everything, right? Everything is fine. But stealing penicillin, and he's like, get him. 
<laughs> what is Will? What is going on? All right, let's get the hell out of here. Oh dear, that's hilarious. Unbelievable. I'm about to say the same thing to you. I don't like him anyway. I don't like him anyway, he says to a colleague that just died. <laughs> what an a-hole. Riley, I thought you were a good one. Get the hell out of it. <laughs> you walk into the former Trump Tower. Um, nothing to see here. Everything's fine. Okay, bye. Don't you have something better to do? All right, this could be where I could use my power. I need to get to the trade authority and sell this stuff. Oh, it's a good power. Look at that. And I could I sprint know. while over encumbered as well. Hey, you made it out. <laughs> well done. Keep it moving. Nice. Then here I thought you were just wasting my time. <clears throat> Rav Ray Rodar. Uh, right. Have this stuff. That stuff. Harvested organs. I'm not even sure where I picked that up. Uh, clean that digi pick for me. Lead-lined eclectic power pack. Better radiation than thermal, and it's lighter. 25% ra uh, 25 radiation. Uh, blend with the environment while sneaking and not moving. Oh, cool. So it's got chameleon properties as well. Wish. Okay, bye. You done here? Time to move on. Blame it on the loot got gremlin taking control. That is exactly it. That is exactly it. Um, right, I think we got to get Walter back home. Or well, something happens to him. <laughs> oh, poor bugger. Just get out of here before they uh, lock my ship down again. Back off. That's an order, not a suggestion. Calm the hell down. That's a suggestion. They really wouldn't do well in America. <laughs> when a police officer talks to me like that, that's how I'd respond normally. <laughs> that's probably what would get me shot. Yeah. Ah, uh, neon. This place is astounding. <laughs> There's no end to what can be accomplished when there are credits to be made. Absolutely. All right. Let's have a little look, see. Um... Uh, Go to the ship. Oh, okay. I just need to go to the ship. Oh my god, I hate how long it takes. I know it exit, you have to hold escape, but... <clears throat> the O2 power is in the top three of powers must have for any playthrough loot goblin. Disregard. It only gets you shot at the grocery store in Texas. <laughs> is, is that how the saying goes? Sure, why not? Why the hell not? Get the hell off Neon. I think that's what it's wanting us to do, isn't it? A deal with a man. Oh, hang on. He's talking to me. And who wanted us dead. I guess we can call that a win. What do you think? We got the artifact. That's all that matters. Terrible people doing terrible things to each other. What a city. You and your wife are cute together. <laughs> Uh, we we got we got the artifact. I agree. This life suits both of us, don't you think? Hopefully, the effort required here was unique. 
I do not wish to make a habit of this. All in all, a great success. Great success. Allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. Uh, think about it. Fiscal quarter, rare rifle. Five. Th I'm sorry. What? That's five damage. The 180 fire rate, it's quite rapid fire with a magazine of 40. Breaks through even the strongest armor. At five damage, that's terrible. That is terrible. Does that re-roll if I reload the save? Does it, does it re-roll the, the gun or is that the gun? Is that the reward? Is that it? That, that that that's that's kind of rubbish. It's kind of rubbish. I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed in that one. No point re-rolling it. Not a ba bag one, to be honest. I mean, compared to what my my current <laughs> my current maelstrom, that thing freaking headshots like crazy. It's a mini gun SMG. Um. So that's got a fire rate of 60 and the fiscal quarter is a fire rate of 180 so more than double the fire rate of this thing and this thing is semi-automatic so you know but a, a 40 round magazine that's going to be like pfft, done reload i suppose the, the thing is to just give it a go and see how it works i guess but yeah five damage i'm not not overly enthusiastic about that one i gotta admit all right let's get out into space Watch the tower. Oh, that was close. Change the receiver to semi auto. What the hell is that? You hold something you have no right to. My people have killed for this. But I will offer you one chance to hand over the artifact and turn away from this path. The freaking bird of prey. Well, that's not any type of ship I recognize. Your ship, non-existing design, and that's not a material I recognize. Unique option from a starship design. You see much, but our ship is created from a power beyond your understanding. Its semblance to your own vessels only aids us in masking our presence. We are the Starborn, and you are unworthy to possess the artifacts. Especially not you, determines our worth. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it. Uh, call yourselves whatever you want. You're just thieves to me. At least tell us more about who you are. The more you understand, the more damage you will do. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. The energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. Uh, I'm blasting them into space dust. Surrender or grab jump to anywhere. So attacking them is not an option. Well, I mean, it is an option. But it's not one of the options in the mission. Ship testing time. Evasive maneuvers. <laughs> now is the time to test your ship. I don't think attacking them is going to work, but I'm kind of curious. I gotta say, <clears throat> I am kind of curious. They're human. Took to New Game 2 to beat it first time. Get a gun for it later. Do it. <laughs> I don't think it was going to work, but... 
continue this some other time? You really want to risk a straight fight with an enemy we know nothing about? We need to regroup. Bide our time. We can Get wait us no longer. Out of here. Prepare yourselves for oblivion. What the? Get up! <laughs> of these. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Speculation part of my brain. That's what's up. That's why you go for neon <laughs> blasters, baby. Yeah. Tell Noel to analyze the data off the ship's sensors. That's how you make it go. Oof, oof. You said run. You said run. I say, no, 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 no. Shoot first and ask questions later. Told you it was good. <laughs> uh, welcome to Starfield. <laughs> yeah, literally. Okay, I gotta power up the uh, the grab drive. I went full full dis destruction mode on that one. I gotta admit, but uh, I I thought it was gonna blast the crap out of me, and I wanted to do as much damage to it as possible. Now that I know what it's capable of. Next time we fight, I may try my EM weapons and disable it and give it a little cheeky body board. You are entering United Colony space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Right, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, I am out of time today and I must say thank you very much for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed the stream. Don't forget, I am back later from 8.30 with the Chaos Crew for some sunken lands, fun and madness. I hope you guys can join us for that. It, uh, it was quite fun last time, actually. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for all the subs and the follows and the resubs and the very kind donations today. Really appreciate you guys. Um, Tata Chow, thank you for becoming a patron as well. That was like 30 minutes ago. Sorry, I missed it. Uh, but yeah, thank you for being in the chat. Thank I you for lurking. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, it's always fun playing options. Starfield with you guys. So thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, and hopefully I will see you for the next one whenever that may be I'll let you guys know anyway uh, enjoy the rest of your day hopefully I'll see you later if not have a great weekend guys and I'll see you when I see you take care of everyone take care everyone bye bye